Hello guys, it is Sophia back here again on Sophia's Football Talk. Thank you so much for some of you new subscribers that I have gotten since the last live I did not that long ago during the semifinals. And to you reoccurring subscribers, hello, peace, and love. This is our, our very own watch along on the finale final between Italy and England. And I'm super excited. I really am. Um, I hope to see England win, but you never know. This is literally the best chance they're at home. They've been at home for many of their games throughout this whole Euro Cup 2020 tournament. So I think it's safe to say that they're probably not going to be getting a chance like this again, to be honest. Uh, Bashir Mohammed says, come on, England. Come on, England. I agree. Come on, England. Yes. By the way, to you guys, to you, to um, those of you who are watching, you know, coming on afterwards, feel free to uh, write down in the uh, live chat here somewhere which team you would want to win the whole tournament. Like I said, I want England to win. We're going to very soon talk about um, the lineup for each team as we have about 40 minutes left before kickoff. So that's going to be very exciting. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing uh, this watch along for the entirety of this game. It's going to be very sad seeing, you know, the Euros ending after this game. It's done. So we have to look forward to the World Cup next year. Although there are some controversies when it comes to that, but that's for a whole nother video. You know, now we're going to focus on the Euros. So, by the way, subscribe if you are new here. Give this video a big thumbs up as it does, as it does help uh, for my, uh, you know, engagement for more people to see the video and videos in the future. So, yeah. Okay. Let me just get up the lineup here. Give me one second. One second. Gotta take down the, oh, there. Okay. Um, we're gonna check the lineup. Okay. Let's start to talk about Italy, what Italy's team look like. I do know that England will be having a back five so that's a little interesting. I really wouldn't have assumed England to do that. But okay, Southgate, I mean, a lot of people criticized Southgate at the beginning of the tournament and thought maybe it's going to, you know, flop it or whatever. But he has done something right to uh, get England to their very first final in the Euro. So, you know, oh, it seems to be like a finale type of show here. I'm looking at the screen, but uh, before the team gets out here, or while the team gets out there, we see a big trophy there. Wow. Okay. Some airplanes in front of the stadium or, okay. We have Donnarumma as the goalkeeper, of course, for Italy. Then we have Lorenzo, Bonucci, Kilini and Emerson, Emerson, yeah, the Brazilian born uh, from Chelsea uh, at the back for I Italy. And then we have Barella, Jorginho, and Baratti uh, in the midfield. And then up front, we have uh, Ciesa, I think it's Ciesa, how you pronounce it? My apologies. Oh, we got some dancing over here in the show okay nice then we have Cyril Immobile of course and then Lorenzo Insigne that seems like a very lethal decent team for um Italy so that's gonna be interesting who do we have 
uh, on their bench, we have uh, the two goalkeepers, Sirigu, Medit, and then we have Lorenzi, Bastoni, Alcerbi, Toloi, Benardeschi, Cristante, Pessina, Locatelli, Berardi, and Belotti on the bench. England, however, we have obviously Jordan Pickford as their goalkeeper. He's been pretty good. He just conceded one goal, which was, you know, the Denmark game. So got to give it to him. And then we have Kieran Tip Trippier coming in to make it a back five. We have Kyle Walker, John Stones, Harry Maguire, and Luke Shaw, of course. In the midfield, we have Callum Phillips, Declan Rice, and then up front, we have Mason Mount, Harry Kane. And Raheem Sterling. Exciting. On the bench, Sam Johnstone, Aaron Ramsdale as go the goalkeepers. We have Reese James, Connor Cody. Has Connor Cody played any games during this tournament? And this is not a shade by any means. I'm just like asking like an honest question, you know? And we have, we have a Tyrone Minks, Bukayo Saka, Jane Sancho, Jordan Henderson, Jack Grealish, Jude Bellingham, Dominic Kelly Lewin, and Marcus Rashford. Do hope that we can see some of these players um, come in, but we'll have to wait and see. So far, we just have this opening show with a lot of dancing, fireworks, ba ba ba. Yeah, nice. Okay. So to those of you who just came in, uh, just watching the opening show. This Wembley Stadium does look pretty epic, though. Like, from afar, it looks pretty cool. Wow. I would love to uh, go there sometime and watch a game or two in the future. That'd be very nice. Now they're just kind of showing which teams that have won this tournament each year. Did it really start in, 19, in the 60s? Hmm, interesting. Yeah. And England has never won it. We see the Netherlands winning it in 1988. Uh, Denmark, of course, in 1992. Imagine they would have done it this year, too. Wow. Germany. We have France, I think, in 2000. Oh, of course, I remember Greece winning back in 2004. Wow, and then we see, we basically saw, you know, Spain winning three, oh, I think two times in a row, twice, yeah. Now we see, um, is it Edith that's bringing out the trophy? Is it? Wow, the trophy is coming out. Wow, that's pretty cool. Players are looking at a trophy. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, it's Eder from Portugal. You know, the player that became the match winner when uh, Portugal met France. France back in 2016 when they won it the very, very first time. So he's you know, bringing out the trophy, showing it to everybody. That's going to be exciting. I really do hope to see England win. But I won't be surprised. I mean, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, my dad might make a surprise appearance throughout this live. We'll see. He's Italy. definitely shouting Italy to win. Forza Italy, Forza Italy. Okay, okay, calm down, man. Okay. So he definitely wants Italy to win. I personally want England to win, but I wouldn't be, like, it wouldn't bug me to see Italy win because Italy have been fantastic. I really have been enjoying watching this new kind of generation with, uh, yeah, the new Italy, the resurrection of Italy in the in a way. If that even makes sense, I don't know. But I'm definitely excited for this game. It's gonna be pretty good, I think so. Now we see the players starting very soon, getting ready to come out. It's gonna be nice. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh my God. Oh, Italy's coming out first.
Damn. I mean, England has like a great support by having it at home. So the fans are definitely going to help them out. I'm just wondering what happened to COVID because it is packed. Nobody's wearing a mask. Wow. Wow. I'm not like trying to spread any negative negativity or anything. I'm just saying, wow. Didn't really think that we were going to be seeing that this year. So many packed, like a packed stadium full of supporters. No empty seats. Wow. Now they have on Italy's national uh, anthem. I really enjoy Italy's national anthem, especially when the players are just really showing passion. Like Helene is closing his eyes. They're ready to sing their hearts out in three, two, one. Three, two, one. We're trying again. Three, two, one. There you go. Italia. <laughs> oh, I love it. The passion when they're singing. Oh, I miss uh, Buffon, though, the goalkeeper from uh, Italy, of course. He used to always be so passionate back in the day. Like, I love that. Seriously. Oh, we have McSauce saying this should be a good game. I agree, McSauce. I agree. Love the username, by the way. I completely agree. I think this is going to be a very good and exciting game. And I'm so pumped for this game. If you guys have anything you want to talk about in terms of the game, my thoughts, whatever it might be, or something that you want to share, feel free to, to do so. We'll talk about it here on the live because we're going to be here for a while. You never know. Maybe imagine if England goes to a penalty shootout with Italy. Oh, oh my God. For England's sake, I hope that won't happen, but you never know. You never know. Now we have England's national anthem. Are we going to see that the same type of passion? I don't know. We'll see. Regardless, I'm excited to see them in action. We got the singing, but it's not the same passion, though. You know what I'm saying? Like imagine if England wins, then United will have, man, United, my, my team here, will be having four Euro Cup winners. That's pretty cool. Pretty dope. I would hope that Rashford could get like some minutes as he hasn't really played this whole tournament. What was really the point of Rashford even joining if you weren't, you know, I know that you have, you have to, of course, have backups in case anybody gets injured or whatever. But he has been playing with an injury almost all season, regardless himself. He's, I heard uh, there might be an operation for him after the Euro. So that's he's probably going to be out for um, some of the early games of the Premier League season. So that's a bummer. But then it's very nice that we did get a signing like uh, Jaden Sancho, although it's not completely confirmed. But I mean, it is. It kind of is, regardless. Yeah. McSauce, Rashford isn't fit enough to play. I agree. I agree. That That is very true. I just, I kind of wish that he would have done what Mason Greenwood did, which is withdrawn and say, you know what? I'm just going to. I'm, I'm just not going to join the Euros. We're going to skip it this time, for instance. But I, of course, I get it. You want to, you know, be there for your team. You want to participate in any way you can. Be a part in general for the team. I do understand that. I mean, I probably, if that was me, I probably would do the same thing. Let's be honest. I get it. I do. But, uh... Yeah, it's just a bummer, you know? But the guy is so young, like, there, there'll be so many more tournaments. And luckily, he has the World Cup to go to next year if they do qualify, which they probably will. But you never know. You never know. 
But yeah, they're starting up very soon. Yeah, McSauce, at least he gets a winner's medal. Yeah. You know what? Oh, what? Okay, that's weird. I literally just saw, you know, they're starting right now and then they had like a little car pulling up. Oh, the car basically brought up the ball, the match ball. Interesting. That's that's the new, I mean, that's something new I haven't seen before, but okay. So let's start this game. Come on, I'm excited. I'm pumped. Let's get the W, meaning the win. Okay. <laughs> the mini car. <laughs> I agree with Sauce. That was kind of that was kind of funny. That was okay. Ooh, and they started. Oh my god! Let me just bring the volume a little bit up. This remote control here. Sorry, so so sorry. There you go. I'm going to miss the Euros. It's been so nice. It's so weird. The fact that it's been a month already, right? It's already like June 11th. Wow. Okay. So like I said, we they did start the game. I do wonder if England is going to have a pretty defensive approach to the game. Or at the beginning, I'll say. I mean, especially by the fact that, yes. oh. Hey. Oh my hey. God, I don't know what Harry Maguire just did, but he had a horrible pass back to Jordan Pickford. Please be focused. If you guys aren't focused, then forget about it. Forget hey. about it. Uh, okay, Mixos ask, what time is it for you? I mean, we're just one hour ahead of uh, England, so it's 9 p.m. here in Norway. 9 p.m. What time is it for you guys, where you live? Okay, so we got a corner for Italy. Are they really going to score that? Yes. Okay, no. Almost up. And McSauce says, by the way, thank you for being this active, McSauce. You're keeping me company. I appreciate it. Okay, England got an attack right now. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for the audio, but Luke so just scored. Oh, my God. I'm getting emotional. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My heart just went. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming home, y'all. Oh, oh my see. god, Luke Shor I should have worn my Luke Shore jersey. What am why am I not well oh, I washed it? <laughs> my god. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer. Yeah, they're playing a five at the back with two holding midfielders. Yes, they are very true, Nick Sauce. God, I'm so sorry if uh, somebody's ears just kinda went deaf or whatever. I'm sorry. But wow. That early on, that's such a good, look at Luke Shaw, he's like, he ran. He was like, I'm right here, I'm right here. That is so good, I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy. Was that a Kyrian Trippier type of pass? That's what England needs. If England does this, they're winning the game. Wow, they hit Italy up like, oh my God, Southgate is like keeping his composure. Wow, yeah, I could, he's my boy too, man. Yeah, Luke, my boy, he really is. I'm so happy for him. For me, he has to be the player of the tournament. Like, oh, I, I, I feel like I want to cry for the dude. I'm so happy for him. I am so happy for Luke Shaw. Come on, keep going, in England. You literally have it on your hands. You guys can do this. Oh, I'm so hyped right now. I'm so hyped. This is going to be good. Wow. Actually, also have Luke Shaw in my Euro Fantasy team. So, huh? yes. Oh, yeah, I agree. 
great cross from Trippier. Yeah, that was very good. So, I mean, Southgate did a good job by, you know, starring Trippier. So, that's not a bad thing at all. I feel like Southgate has definitely grown a lot with this job, you know? And I also feel like the players in general just know that this is a great opportunity for them for them to actually win this trophy. They're not gonna get a chance like this again, not anytime soon. So they, they might as well just go all in and do it. The whole in England is behind them, probably a lot of other, you know, nations. I mean, I'm I'm not English. I live here in Norway, but I still definitely do like England. So I hope that they can finally get this. I really do. But that goal from Luke Shaw, like I'm still buzzing right now. <laughs> wow, that's so weird. Oh my God. My God, that is, that's dope. That is amazing. Oh, one second. What I just initially realized is I forgot to put on tags for this video. Give me one second. I'll just do that very quickly. Very quickly. What the hell is this? Come on! Italy definitely needs to be focused in terms of them, you know, having any chance of winning this game. But I think, ooh, um, I feel like, like initially before Italy, oh, we have okay two, two semifinals and a final under Southgate. Yeah, was that the Nation League? Is that what you're talking about? Because that's, yeah, that is very true. Totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about that, actually, but that's very true. That is very true. Um, okay, England lost the ball. I think Italy just got a free kick, actually. I mean, if England wins, Saki gotta, you know, get not, is, it, is that what it's called, United? You know, become a Sir? Get the Sir title, he definitely deserves that. If he gets them, you know, the trophy for the very first time, right? Okay, will they score now? I don't know. Who's gonna take the free kick? We'll see. Well, Emerson is taking the free kick, I think. Could be wrong. No? It's Insignia. Oh, no. He lost the ball. Oh, that's my dad, actually. <laughs> For Italy. Yeah, that is right here. And just making sure my dad will probably make a little appearance throughout the game. We'll see. Oh, God, he's yelling now. He really wants Italy to win. Calm down. Calm down. I'm, I'm, whoa. I got to take a cold shower afterwards. Woo. Jesus. Come on. What do you guys think so far of the game? I'd love to know. Would love to know. Well, this oh, is so dope, though. My dad is actually uh, saying that Southgate looks like he didn't have any sleep. He probably didn't. I mean, come on. This is like the biggest game ever for him. It has to be. Italy looks shocked. Look shook, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are definitely in shock, um, uh, McSauce. They are. Trust me, they are. Are we going to get another goal? What are you doing? Italy is like completely, like you said, McSauce, they are in shock. Wow. Well, what I was initially trying to say few moments ago about Italy is when I watched them play against Spain, they did definitely not look as confident, you know? It was, it was barely, 
they they literally barely made it to the finale, obviously because of you know uh, penalty shootouts and such, right? And they won that, but I kind of think England definitely can do this, you know. Before the Spain game for Italy, I oh, thought, oh, Italy might probably win this whole tournament because they seemed definitely very confident. Oh, they seemed very me. strong, like a collective. But I don't feel the same way, to be honest. I really don't. I think, especially now by England getting that early goal, and what a pass. Oh, my God. Are we getting the second goal? No, we aren't. Maybe. But they're losing the ball very easily. Okay, Italy... Ooh. Okay. Um, like so said, they played with 30-ish percent possessions against Italy and played defensive. Oh, you mean against Spain? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like so said, thank you so much for being this active during, uh, you know, you could have done so many, like, other things. But you actually joined me for this live and being this active in the live chat. And I really, truly appreciate it. So thank you for that. And I agree with you. I, on, I, 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 I do. Come on, Italia, please. Ah. Oh, What? No, no. I'm gonna talk soon, guys. I just have to make sure that the tags are intact for this video. You know. Um, to those of you who just arrived to this live, hello. Subscribe if you're new here. And give this video, video, give this video a big thumbs up so that we will get some more, you know, engagement, the more people see it. But yeah, um, yep, yep, yep. Wow, the England fans are definitely saying they are. They know they might really go home. Oh, there must be something wrong. Ooh, Trippier with them crosses though. I, I, I feel in, like Italy. I, I don't know what's happening with this oh, Italian really? side right here. Also, raining a lot there in London. Oh, I would have loved to be in the stadium watching the game. Oh, my God. Those of you who are lucky people. We have another corner for England. Or is it another corner? I don't know. This is maybe the first. Are we going to get... Oh, no. Okay. Donnarumma took it. Oh, early play by Donnarumma. To a pinky, yes, sir. Yes. Oh. Okay. Didn't get a free kick for that. Okay. I mean, I'll, I don't mind. Sterling. Come on, Sterling. Okay. I'm here now. Okay. Um, McSaws asks. Are you looking forward to next season? We definitely need a CB and a CDM. I am very much looking forward to the season. Thanks for asking, Nick Sauce. And I agree with you. Oh, that was a good pass, by the way. Oh, ooh. another corner we see. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward for, this, for the season for sure. To the season, I, I should say, the next season. I would really hope for us to get you know, Rafael Varan, I, I, I hope. I mean, there are definitely a big big chance that we might get him and we would need him 
we need somebody to come to uh, you know work well with Harry Maguire, you know, for a new partnership because the partnership with Maguire and um, Lindelof is not working at all. Well, we're getting another goal. No, we're not. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just not working. Before the CDM, though, I hope that that can also happen. But I, 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 I don't know. To be honest, I really do not know if that's something that we will get. But um, so far, we have Sancho. Check. Okay. Can we get the next thing? I really do think that we should focus on is getting a CP, like you said, and also a CDM. Possibly, maybe another right back to have as an option for um, or to, to fight alongside Erwan Bissaka. But if Diogo Dalot come back, then maybe we shouldn't. You know, my, my dad is frustrated with Italy. Ooh. Then, I mean, if Dalot comes back, then maybe we don't necessarily need another right back. But I will be talking more about that in like a more dedicated video for sure. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah. We saw that Calavinga will be a great CDM, I think. You know what? I've heard a lot of things about him possibly, you know, being like a very bright, oh, let me keep this, to be a very bright young CDM. He's very young. I haven't really seen much of him to really give my personal opinion about whether or not we should get him. But if if he's the type of player that will get directly in to the start to our starting eleven, then yeah, for sure. But if he's a, a player that will just you know be in, at the bench, slowly get integrated into the team, then I personally personally don't think that we should. But I don't know. I I, I really don't. It's hard. I just I would also love to get that Rice maybe, but I don't think a lot of people fancy him that much. But I kind of do. I think he's been good, especially for England. He's been very good. You know, he does his yeah. job. Oh, Italy got, just got a big chance, but great defending right. by. Oh, it was offside, by the way. So it doesn't really matter. Wow. And Laram would partner well with Maguire, right? That's exactly what I'm thinking too, Mixos. I agree. I agree. Um, and I really hope that Axel Twanzebi still stays at uh, Man United. I hope that we're not going to sell him because I think we're going to make a big mistake if we do. He was exceptionally good uh, when we played against PSG in the first, uh, was it his first game in the group stage of the Champions League that season? He had both Mbappe and Neymar in their back pockets. Luke Shaw, for me, the player of the tournament. I, I just... I know that I'm like sidetracking a little bit, but I just had to mention that Luke Shaw for me should get should literally get some sort of I don't know medal for being like the player of the tournament. He's been exceptional, and I just I just love that he's our player. He's he's player. It's gonna be here for many years. I see it. He's literally the player that Man United wanted him to be for so many years. You know. And to see him finally getting his roses, all the praise, I'm happy, man. Oh. I am ecstatic for that. I feel like England is definitely controlling the game pretty well. You know, Italy's trying to get to their chances and stuff, but they're not able to. So I got to give it to Southgate. Maybe it was a smart move to have a back five so far, but, you know, not for oh. Woods. I don't know. Because Italy is missing the ball quite yes. often now. They don't seem as confident. Maybe it's just Italy. I mean, maybe England is just a better side for them to meet. Because I'm also thinking about throughout this whole tournament. Have they really met a, like, much great, what is the word that I'm looking for? Just like a very strong opponent. Other than Spain, maybe Spain definitely, Spain for sure definitely uh, made it hard for them, not easy at all. But uh, England is not making it easy as well. Well, you never know. I mean, one, but I, I'm just one. The thing that I'm seeing again, Italy is constantly losing the ball. England is keeping it on. 
But uh, I mean, if England gets another goal or so, I think they might just completely take it at home. Take it home. And I love this song, by the way. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. Football's coming it's coming home. It's coming home. My dad switch switch out the home word of the song to Rome. It's coming Rome. And I'm like, okay. Not necessarily. Okay, okay. We, we, we get it. We get it. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Wow. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but I apologize. Ooh, child. I would expect it more from Italy, but seriously, though, I am not writing Italy off this early. We're just 20 minutes in the game. It can change completely. This might like completely flip upside down throughout the game, after the first half, you know, in the second half, they might just, oh, that was a great pass to Luke Shaw. But not necessarily the best pass back though, but you tried, Luke, you tried, you tried. Now I'm thinking maybe we should get Kieran Trippier because he's been so far pretty good this game. You know, I mean, he did win the La Liga with Atletico Madrid, so, if he also gets uh, the Euro Cup, then he has had an amazing season. Good for you, Trippier. Good for you. But yeah, like I said, we are 20 minutes in. The game. Oh, we have Jorginho Seaman seems to be hurt. Has an injury. Oh, that's oh that sucks. He's been definitely very good this whole tournament as well. So that's uh maybe he seemed a little bit anonymous during the Spain game though, if we're gonna be honest. But I think he looks to be having an injury. I don't know. Maybe he'll be able to still play. Hopefully, but um, I don't know. They do need him, though. They definitely do. Now we're seeing the wonderful attack by England from Trippier to Luke Shaw. You see Luke Shaw is, like, pointing, like, I'm right here. That was such a good goal, by the way. Wow. And that early on, you see like the English, the England fans being like crazy happy. Of course, of course. We said David Beckham with Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is there. Really? Wow. Oh God, okay, cool. One day I would love to be watching, you know, at a final, like Champions League, World Cup, the Euro Cup, and such. That'd be cool. One day. One day if I'll be able to get tickets and stuff. You know, it's sometimes it's like it's expensive, you know, even flying from Norway to England, especially when they know that we're going uh, when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to a um, you know, going to see games. Mixel said, you have one dislike, probably your dad. I don't know. Abo. Abo. You know what? I'm going to ask my dad. Abo. Yeah. Uh, somebody said that I have one dislike. Was that you? <laughs> my dad laughed. That was you, right? No. Okay. No, it, 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 it wasn't him. To the person who, dis to the person who, who disliked, yeah. thank you. Because you're actually, that, that's a good thing. That helps for my engagement, too. So thank you. I'm not hating. Thank you. That's, that's not a bad thing at all. So, peace. So far, oh my God, we've been in this live for uh, literally 40 minutes. Wow. Okay. 40 minutes. No. You just need this. 
Okay. I feel so bad for, you know, the the game. You know, I realized the finale should have been played on Saturday or something instead because having it on a Sunday, what about the people that are going to work the next day? I feel bad for y'all. Whew. I could not bear to do that. Ooh. Come on, can we get more gold? I, I, I want to have like a gold frenzy. I want to see like a gold show, you know? Okay, Italy is in the attack right now. They got three players. Oh, no. Again, wonderful defending by England. Maguire, man. Jorginho is still playing? Yeah, he doesn't really seem pressing at all, to be honest. Like, no. I do wonder, did I actually? No, I don't think I talked about in the previous video or so, or in the previous live, whether or not, I mean, what the score predictions would be, but what are you guys predicting? Do you think England will win? Or do you think Italy will win? And if so, what will be like the score predictions? I feel like so far, depending on how the game is going, I do think England will win. And I really do hope so. So I think maybe England will win 2-1. I don't know. I said that with uh, England and Denmark, and that actually ended 2-1 too. To one as well, but uh, and then it was the Italy and Spain game that ended. Was it one one? I think it was. Yeah, I mean, I, Italy did win, so regardless, but yeah. Um, okay. Nick Sauce asked, Did you watch the Copa America? You know what? I tried to stay up, but it was going to be at like 2 p.m. here in Norway. No, not 2 p.m., 2 a.m., pretty late. And I, I just was so tired. I worked literally like almost eight hours at my uh, job um, that following evening. So I was so tired when I came home. I just, I could not. If I wasn't working, I probably would have been able to stay up, but I just couldn't. So when I woke up earlier today, I we can obviously talk about, that's a good thing that you brought up. I completely forgot to mention it, but um, having Messi finally win his, first major trophy, international trophy with his country. That's major. That's something that R Ronaldo did, you know, with his Portugal side. So I'm definitely happy for Messi for finally being able to, because he's been in like, what, three finals prior to that game, but he didn't manage to actually win with uh, Argentina and to finally see him do so especially at his age, because imagine, you know, I talked about my, I talked about this with my father recently, and we just kind of, you know, started to talk about the day that we, you know, that Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi will be retiring. That's going to be a sad day for football, man. It's been amazing for me, at least growing up, watching both of them, you know, be super young, because I was very young. I'm like, um, I'm 10 years younger than uh, Ronaldo. I'm 26, he's 36, you know. Messi's 34. I was, you know, in elementary, middle school, watching them be very young when they first, you know, came into the scene. So it's been very nice seeing them, both of them actually evolve to the players that they are right now. And gotta be sad man oh we got a we got an England attack coming in very soon currently oh no it kind of slowed down that was bad Luke Shaw keeping the ball then we have Declan Rice Gallant Phillips back to McGuire Stones McGuire and the English supporters are like booing they're like no come on oh that was a bad pass by Mason Mount not good. 
But yeah, what I was saying was, it's just gonna be sad. Are we gonna see the same rivalry between two players in the future? Again, I don't know, like who's gonna be the next, like, is that even the right thing to ask? Like, are we going to even see players like Messi and Ronaldo again? I don't know. I mean, I feel like for the next generation, they're gonna be players that are making an impact for their generation, right? But they, Messi and Ronaldo, definitely have made an impact for this generation that I'm a part of. Watching them play a madness for so many years, I'm really happy that I got to experience that. I have never been able to watch them play live. I mean, Ronaldo was going to come to Norway with his Portugal side, I think, two years back, but he got injured. And then Real Madrid came here to Oslo, I actually went to that game. That was like a preseason game, but none of the, you know, star players really played. That was actually, I think, when? And we had, you know, Martin Odegaard, who is Norwegian, a place for Real Madrid, he came. Obviously, that makes sense. And I think I saw, was it Pepe and Marcelo that was there? Now really, was Modric there? I don't think he was. Tony Cruz was there. He was. Remember, I was sitting pretty much at the lower part of on the lower seats. Uh, and, uh, the game ended 0-0. Zero, zero. It was uh, between like a... Uh, team called Wolleringa, an Oslo uh, team, obviously, at Ullevål Stadion, which is the stadium where uh, Norway's national team usually plays at. Yeah. I don't know why we went from, you know, okay, I'm going everywhere with my, um, you know, thoughts here, but it is what it is. If Messi wins Ballon d'Or this year, that means Messi will be the first player to win a Ballon d'Or in three decades. Ghost stuff right there. Really? Wow. I gotta give it to him. I, I wasn't even thinking about that, but yeah, that's. Oh my god, that's. Wow. Thanks for bringing that up, Exhaust. That's actually very good. Um, what did I say? Thank you for uh, mentioning that, for bringing that up. That's wow. Oh, Italy is going at it right now. I feel like England is also kind of, you know, missing the ball a little bit now. They're not completely focused. Maybe they're a little bit tired, but they need to keep it the control still and be much more precise with their uh, passes, I, sh I should say. But yeah, that's that's a very that's give that you uh, a very good point by McSauce here. Thank you. Imagine that, but it's actually a video that I want to make in the future talking about like what what will kind of make the greatest player of all time, you know, or, or such or anything like that. I don't know. I just feel like what do you as a player have to do to be able to even get recognized by winning the Ballon d'Or like or to even get nominated? Like can a player like N'Golo Kanté win? The Ballon d'Or in the future. I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I get the fact that Messi is the greatest of all time. Like, or this is this year, right? Like, he is the best player. I personally really do love Ronaldo. Cristiano yeah, Ronaldo, I mean. He has been my favorite for a lot of years. But I'm just wondering. Oh, Trippier and Emerson is getting at it. Okay. I see you guys getting a little heated. Yeah, my point here by making this or by bringing this up is the fact that I just, what am I trying to say? I'm, I feel like I'm kind of losing my um, thoughts here. A lot happening in this game, by the way. We're closer to half time. I mean, we're kind of 12 minutes away, excluding the added time, but whatever. What I'm trying to say here is, Hmm. Okay, England. Oh, oh, that was almost a good attack by England. That's kind of a bad miss by Mason Mount. It hasn't been added so far, but England got, you know, the ball back. They're getting a throw. They're almost there, though, England. 
ethnic sauce. In my opinion, when people look back in time, Ronaldo will be seen as the best player ever since he played in three different leagues. Broke goal records, international and club. One five Champions Leagues. That's exactly why I feel the same way. Oh, I, I felt like I had a lips right now. Okay, I apologize, but I, I, I agree with that. I, I personally do feel like that. I feel like I've had this conversation with people in the past and people like, like you don't know football if you are saying that Ronaldo is better than Messi, but it's like at the same time, because I completely agree with your point, McSauce, I do also think maybe in terms of Messi though, does he have to necessarily, oh, Italy is getting, oh, oh my God, Jesus, that was so close for Kiesa. Wow, they just let him get that shot. What were you thinking, Declan Rice? What, like, what happened here? Big space, nobody. What? They just let him ran past them and get to that big shot like he would have scored. Whoa. Okay. Um, plus, Ronaldo is the United legend. I'll always pick Ronaldo over Messi. Maybe you will be in a little biased, McSauce, but you know what? Who cares? We are entitled to have, to basically have our own opinions, right? And I also feel like for me, now, though, in terms of him being in other leagues, he did win, you know, the Euro Cup. It was amazing. He has won several Champions League and also back to back. Remember, there were a time a few years ago where, oh, that was an amazing pass to Luke Shaw, but oh, come on, hold the ball, come on, yeah, yeah, get it, Luke. Will that be a second? Oh my God, no. That was so close. That was so close to base mouth. Luke Shaw is tearing it up. Woo! He also has the second most assist assists in history. You know what? Thank you for bringing all the stats, mix sauce. Thank you. We appreciate it, or at least I do. Yes, you are bringing up some very good points here. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Ronaldo for me is the goat. He is. Messi's also a GOAT. Can't they both be GOATs though? Do we always have to have this rivalry between who's the best? Can't there be several people that are, that is the best at what they do? You know, why does it always have to necessarily be offensive players? You know, like a very play, like players that are attacking players, I mean. Why does it always have to be attacking players that gets the most praise? You get what I mean? You know, the, there are also other players like CDMs that are great at what they do. Can't they also be the GOAT at what they do? I'm just saying, that's definitely something that I want to make a video about, actually. But I do agree with you. Ronaldo, for me, is for sure the GOAT. But Messi also is the GOAT, both of them. But I just would prefer Ronaldo the most. Just in terms of, like I said, there were a time where Real Madrid were winning the Champions League back to back, and a lot of it has to do with Ronaldo. Look at Real Madrid right now. Where are they? Now that Ronaldo has left, Ramos also has left. There are other, like, there are several players there that aren't there anymore. Some players still are, like Tony Cruz. Modric is still there. England got a free kick. Uh, but yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't feel like Real Madrid is the same team as when Ronaldo left. That was obviously their biggest player. And I know that, I mean, a team shouldn't be that, like, so appended to one player, but it just really proved when he left for Juventus that um, he's an important player, you know? He is. I wonder what's going to happen to Ronaldo for this next season, though. Will he still stay at Juventus or will he leave? Good question. So, I don't know. I really do not know. But we'll see. We will see. There are rumors that he might come back. But I personally, like, I love Ronaldo. But we, there's no point. We, we shouldn't. We shouldn't do that. I think that would be dumb. But it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. I will be talking about kind of players that I would want to prefer seeing at Man United in the future because 
I'm just being honest, right after the Euro's over, I have so many videos planned uh, in terms of Man United content, but also just other football content in general about the Premier League or how the season went. And I don't know, maybe also my predictions for the Premier League, like which team will end up where, you know? That is something that I probably will be talking about maybe a few days before the Premier League starts, but we'll see. Okay, McSaw says, it's fun how people, it's funny how people say Ronaldo and Messi are past their best when they will score 30 plus goals every season. We become conditioned to think that if they don't get 50 plus, then they're bad. That is so true. We also need to remember, both of these players are, you know, pretty old now, but they are still keeping the standards. I still feel like they're at their best. I almost feel like Ronaldo kind of got better when he became 30, 31, you know? Like once he kind of hit, like we, if we're thinking back like 2013, 2014, Ronaldo, wow. Messi too, like they are still getting it. They're still being very important for both of their teams. They're still um, scoring lots of goals. That's not, that's still, I mean, we need to remember Ronaldo became the top goal scorer for, for Juventus in the Serie A again. I mean, that's at his age. We need to remember he's 36. He'll be 37 next year. I don't know when he will be retiring. I'm also wondering, the question here, though, is will Ronaldo in the future maybe become a coach himself? The way he was leading his team in the uh, Euro Cup final back in 2016 when they won, he was so admirable. I really respect him for that. He was literally having an ice pack on his knee, on the sideline, alongside the actual coach. By the way, Italy got a free kick here. I'm still watching the game. I'm, I'm, I'm watching, although I'm speaking a lot. I know this is, this is a live and I'm trying to keep you guys entertained. Oh, great um, defending again from England. But that was a good cross by, um, I don't know if that was KS, but up there, I think, that had a wonderful pass. Uh, regardless, um, I, I am wondering if Ronaldo will be become a, will be a coach in the future. I think that would be something that he would be interested in, but I don't, sorry, I apologize. I don't know, but I hope so. That would be cool. Imagine him maybe being a coach for Portugal in the future or at Madrid, maybe even Man United. I mean, come on. If he becomes a coach and he comes to coach a Premier League side, I would want him to at least coach Man United, if he has, I mean, of course, if he is good enough. I think he would be, but you never know. I mean, just because you're an ex-player doesn't necessarily mean that you will be successful as a coach. But at the same time, I think he would actually do a good job. I think he would. You never know. But my point here overall is it's going to be sad the day we see both Messi and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo retiring. Oh, the time really flies by so fast because we're literally close to halftime right now. Wow. This game so far has been very good. And I hope that England can just still continue. I think if they get like a second goal, they probably might have it in the back or at least a third goal. Then I will say that they've definitely finished the game for sure. English brother? It goes kind of both ways, but England so far, I feel like has been the better side. Will we, oh, hey, hey, what was that? Whoa. I don't know what that was. I mean, not necessarily a penalty for England, but I don't know what that Go. Is. Go. Um, hand was. Run. Okay. Oh, come on, Declan Rice. Yeah, Declan Rice, come on. Yes. He's on the super. Yeah, no. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, that was kind of a great tackle from one of the Italian players. I don't, I literally couldn't see who that was. But, oh my God, Declan Rice was really getting in there, and then he just hey. missed that final pass. So I think it was maybe Sterling. 
Come on, come on. Please, no. Oh my God. What's that, Michelle? Oh my God. It was definitely, uh, you know, oh, getting in there. Story. But the thing is, is that no, when like they that. get, to, wow, oh my God. When they get to their uh, chances, the problem is that no. England definitely is pretty good with getting back to their side again. To really keep the, you know, uh, defense pretty much compact. But will Italy be able to break through? I don't know. Maybe. You never know. I feel like if England, if the English players, uh, the chair, the chair, if the, if the English players, so oh, we'll get, by the way, four minutes of added time right before um, the... Half time kicks in, but uh, yeah, okay, that's nice for me. But my point here was what was my point actually? My point here was if the English players suddenly become unfocused, the I said I'm not focused, I'm unfo unfocused, obviously, then uh, Italy might suddenly, you know. Take that advantage, you know, opportunity. But they're not on focus, especially with Luke Shaw being there. If he does not get any type, like he, come on, that's a tournament. That is the my place tournament. Oh my god! Oh, that was a big chance by Italy. Oh my god! Oh god! One of the English players blocked that. Oh, that was Stones blocked that shot. Great stones. Great. He's also been amazing for England. Gotta give it to him. Yeah, if, oh my oh, god, if John I'm Stones right. wouldn't have uh, stood there, then um, that would have probably been a goal. That might have been a goal to Italy, but it wasn't. Oh my god, we've been here for an hour. Yay, peace, peace, peace. Cool. Come on. Come on, fuck Oh, no! Yes, come on. Uh-oh. What kind of game is that? Oh, my dad is angry. Calm down, big papa, calm down. Okay. We wonder if there's gonna be more goals. So will we get another goal? Okay. Come on. No, that was a bad pass for him. Come on. You do better than that. Will it be maybe more goals? I don't know. I do not know. Mixos asks, talks on the game so far, I'm confident. How about you? You know what, I'm pretty confident too. Mixos, I am. So far, actually, I do like the game. I would hope that we can get some more goals. But I mean, the most important thing is for, oh my God. No. The most important thing is for England to win. So I do not want at a time. I feel like that's gonna be too much anxiety for people, so mm, I'm not, no. I just want it to be 90 minutes. Just get it done, England, get it done. But so far, I'm not disappointed about this game. I do like this. So yeah, uh, I, I would say that I am pretty confident in England Whoa. being able to win if they keep up the same level though. 
but you never know. I'm, I'm just saying there's always a little bit of a doubt maybe in terms of Italy suddenly, you know, changing like that. Even maybe being a little bit arrogant. You never know. You never know. I just feel like they need to be just be focused. But so far, they, I mean, the it is half time right now. First half is done. They got the first goal. So so far, imagine if the the that one goal stands and Luke Shaw becoming the match winner for. I would have never seen that coming. Luke Shaw becoming the match winner of the of a Euro Cup final. I mean, he deserves it though. He deserves it. His he, it's been his year. It's been his season. If there's anybody that really deserves it, it's Luke Shaw. It really is, and I. I it's really nice seeing the United players just getting that confidence prior to you know getting into a new season so that's something that we definitely need to see more of you know and i hope that england can win because i think that having that winning mentality will definitely help the players throughout the season i definitely personally think so i, I definitely personally think that that will be a very good thing. So we just have to hope that you know England wins. I do at least, and some of you probably do too. So you know, but yeah. Uh, what else can we talk about for the you know for the fifteen minutes that we're here? By the way, let me just get a little bit of snack. I'm so sorry for the noises that this will make, but you know. I apologize. No, we're no. You you Okay, so what else can we talk about to this uh, halftime so far? But yeah, like I asked earlier, what are your score predictions? How will the game end? Like I said, I do think it will maybe be 2-1 to England. Just feel like that seems natural. I don't. I think that Italy might actually be able to score at least one goal, and then it'll and then England score another goal. That will probably be by Harry Kane, and then he'll be the match winner. Yep, I called it. There, you go. like I said, one goal by Luke Shaw, and then we're gonna have a goal by Italy. I don't know who's gonna score that goal. Uh, Insignia, maybe. I don't know. It will be. Kiesa, one of them. And then we're gonna have a Harry Kane goal. That's what I think. I just have a feeling that that might, it might change in the second half, you know? But uh, overall, England will take it home. But I would prefer, I mean, how it goes now, I would love for Luke Shaw to become the match winner. So I, I wouldn't have a problem with it only being one zero. So I agree with you, uh, so my score prediction is, one zero. You know what? You never know. You never know. That might be the score predictions. That might be the outcome. You know? Well, look, Shaw, child. That guy, he's in his prime, yo. He's only going to keep getting better and better. You know? Seriously. Who would have thought, though? Who would have thought? I, I, I wouldn't. And this is actually the, that seems to be, I think they just said here that that goal was the fastest goal in an 
Euro Cup finale. So that's pretty dope. Okay, you got that. That's for you, um, Luke Shaw. I just loved how we just see him running. Like he was far behind. He just was like, nah, man, I'm right here. Bam. Wow. They didn't I, they didn't see Luke Shaw. They were not expecting yeah, I'm literally seeing they did not expect him at all. Nobody was looking at him. They're, they're not marking their men. They're, they're not. That Italian defense for that goal specifically was horrible. Usually are better than this. So I don't know what happened, but nobody saw Luke Shaw at all. Trippier did, but not the Italian players. He just stood there by himself. And you can see that that meant so much. Look at him. Oh my gosh, so many emotions. I love it. I personally love it. Wow, that's pretty dope. Pretty dope. <laughs> oh, and I just realized that's was that really his first goal? That was Luke Shaw's first goal for the national team. Wow. And what a way to do it in a finale, man. Your first ever finale. Come on. First ever final. Got to give it to them. Oh my God. I mean, we have been seeing one Italy, one big chance by Italy where the English side was just sleeping. And it was, I mean, they were, let's just say that they were lucky enough to not get a goal against them. Okay? Just saying. I'm just watching, you know, the expert panel here in Norway talking about the game. The Norwegian expert panel, I should say, for the, a channel called MRK. Yeah, MRK Sport. Just oh. showing bits of Luke Shaw. That guy, though, mad at the match for me so far. I mean, obviously, with. A wonderful goal, but just overall, he's been exceptional. He's been amazing. He's been so good, and gotta give it to him. Gotta give it to him. Is Holam popular in Norway? Man, yes, he is. That's, I don't really have, have we ever had a player like Holam? Be this big ever in a Witcher player? Apo, has there been any player like Holam this big? Like in a week, in Cardiff, Cardiff was not this big. No, 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 not physically. Are we? We see in uh, David Beckham and Tom Cruise hugging. Okay, but yeah, he's, I mean, like I said. Hold on. Oh, we have the Prime Minister Boris Johnson, uh, you know, in this in English in New Jersey. Okay, I see you. Oh. Okay, Moss is there too. But yeah, he's very popular here in Norway, exceptionally popular. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember when they were talking about him having nine. 
can't remember. But he lives it? I can't remember. I think it's pretty west where he's from. He's definitely not from the parts of nowhere where I'm from. I'm from Oslo, so he he's not from here. Just like Harry, he can he doesn't speak probably Norwegian. Who? Just like Harry, can speak, Harry. We're not gonna speak English. What are you talking about? Uh, Harry speak uh, strange English. Okay, that's, uh, that's really nice. Uh, but what I was trying to say is that he's definitely very popular here in Norway, for sure. I think there were a couple of years back where he played for the under-19 or something team, or maybe under-17, where he literally scored nine goals in one single match, okay? I'm not, like, that would mean basically a hat, hat trick times three. Is that the right term? It has to be, yeah, basically a hat trick times three, you know, in one game for the Norwegian national team at that time. But they were under 19 or the under 17 team. And then he made it into, you know, national team. I think when he was at Red, was it Salzburg? No, the, were they, a Switzerland team? And then, of course, Dortmund. Uh, we used to also play at, did he play at Molde? Oh. When uh, he, he did play at Molde, when uh, Storcher was his uh, coach several years back. So maybe it's possible oh, for, oh. yeah, and of course, Alfie Holland, <laughs> that's his father. You know, I don't know if some of you knows about the famous incident where, um, you know, Roy Keane broke his leg. Me, I think, yeah, they, they had a big feud, both of them, you know. I don't think they were possibly um, fond of each other, that they really liked each other, but, you know, it, it happened. It is what it is. And then look at him, his son being this big, but he's like, Holland is popular all over the world right now. It's really cool seeing a Norwegian player being that big. I don't really think we've had a player like that of his caliber being this huge all over the world. I mean, we had Sucha, but look, once again, Sucha was more so, well, you know, Sucha, I mean, was more so like a substitute. It wasn't maybe starting every game, but he was a superb substitute. You know, changing games, he will forever be known as Man United legend by simply winning us the treble, for instance, having that match winning goal in 1999. Okay? That was amazing. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and we're seeing stats of the or the top goal scorers for this tournament. And Ronaldo seems to uh, have uh, won that. Unless Harry Kane ends up, you know, having a madness and scoring some proper goals here. You never know. But um, I would hope that Ronaldo can get that, though, to be honest. Just he might probably be his last Euro. So might as well give it to him. Oh, we're seeing different goals here. But yeah, Holland. I really hope that Ali Brett Holland will sign to Man United. But I'm not saying this season because or this upcoming season because we don't necessarily need. We, I'm not gonna say necessarily. We don't need him right now. We have Edison Cavani. We have given him one more season. So I don't think that a striker is something that we necessarily need at all. No. Next year, next season, when Edison Cavani leaves, then I would love to be able to see uh, Holland at United, but there are a chance it's possible that he goes to Chelsea, though. I hope that he doesn't, but it is possible. I don't want it to happen, because that would be so annoying. I mean, he will fit in so perfectly, that Chelsea side, but I don't want it to happen, so... That's that. Okay, they're right about to start here. It is raining a little bit in uh, London. Is Italy going to switch it up? Like, are they going to uh, show something interesting? I don't know. I do not know. I don't. 
I do not know at all, to be honest. It'll be interesting regardless. We're about to start. Oh, what? It's going to be very interesting to see if Aileen can hold up still. I mean, I hope so. Just let Luke show be, you know, the. Actually, I hope so. A question here from Exhaust again. Thank you, man. Do you like Uf UFC? I'm not necessarily really interested, but I did hear about uh, Conor McGregor uh, breaking his leg or, so, or ankle early on in the, you know, fight, rapid fight. Wow. We can talk about it. I mean, I, I don't really watch UFC, but I mean, I do read about it here and there. But that was, uh, wow. How was he able to actually give an interview while his ankle was broken? And it didn't really seem bothered at all. What? That's a beast. Oh, my God. I mean, whoa. But, yeah, do you like UFC? Anyone else that likes that? The sport that I definitely watch the most or that the only sport that I do watch is football. I, I love football. Uh, I do like basketball a little bit, but it's not something that I really watch at all, to be honest. Um, I used to definitely watch the Olympics and stuff, you know. Definitely love watching the running, like the 200 meters and such. Usain Bolt back in the day for the Olympics and such. That was definitely very interesting. I love watching that, but haven't, haven't really been watching that at all the last couple of years. Football is the main thing that I do watch. Or the only thing that I do watch. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, we are, uh, you know, in the game right now. Who is getting ready here? I think, is that Rashford or is that Jude Bellingham? I think that might be Jude Bellingham. Warming up, but yeah. I like you. I like UFC, but I dislike Conor McGregor being disrespectful towards people's religions, family, and country. You know what, makes sauce? All right, I am... Um, let me just keep this comment up because that's a great comment. I've heard about that. He's been uh, definitely disrespectful towards several players. Wasn't it a few years back or well, not that long ago where he threw a chair or something at someone's bus? Broke the window? I don't know. That guy is kind of crazy, though. I do feel like he's doing too much. He got to stop doing that. I, I, like, I get getting into somebody's head and, you know, Offending people, we don't necessarily need to go with religion, family, and country. That's a, that's crossing a line that you can't really go back from, you know. And I don't really respect that at all. So, I I agree with you. That's not I. Uh, he's not my cup of tea. I'm probably not meant to be his cup of tea. I'm not his targeted audience. Ooh, go for Sterling. Is there a penalty? No, not a penalty. Whoa. Was that not a penalty? I mean, I get Sterling, you know, if we're going to talk about penalties last, you know, the Denmark game, maybe they shouldn't have that, but that's neither here or there. But this one, though, I don't know. i got to watch it on the replay. I hope that they can show it very soon. Interesting. Hmm. Nick Sauce, yes, he did that and injured the female fighter. Did he really? That's horrible. What a horrible person. Jesus. Oh my God, I mean, like I said, he is not my cup of tea whatsoever. He's not. He just proves times and time again. Oh, now they're showing, okay, let me look. I mean, I mean, that kind of looked like a little bit of a penalty for me though. I'm just saying definitely more so clear with this compared to the Denmark. Uh, Game that one was definitely not a penalty if we're gonna be real. 
regardless, they're in the finale, they're in the final, they're here, they're playing, and they're so far, they're leading. They're about to win their very first Euro Cup trophy, and they might do so. I just saw like a picture at a group that I'm following here on Facebook. Somebody saying like our thoughts are going with Jose Mourinho because Jose Mourinho must look must be like he he does look pretty dumb right now. Oh, now England got a free kick against them. What? Wait, that was a free kick for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, come on, man. That was definitely a free kick. Hopefully they're not gonna score that, but like imagine if England wins this Euro Cup, like Luke Shaw, and if Luke Shaw becomes the batch winner as well, because it doesn't matter if he does, like if they win, he knows he was a big part of that. He's been exceptional. He can just like kind of give the middle finger to Jose Mourinho and be like, look at me, man. I got this, you know? You can't say anything. Is Emerson taking the free kick? No, in Tinia? Ooh, that was a good free kick, though. Wow. Sorry, Antinia. That didn't went go through, you know? Ooh, close, though. Antinia is one short guy. I'm not height shaming anybody, but wow. Compared to, you know, Donnarumma, for, for, for example, he is huge. Wow. That's a big difference. I mean, I'm pretty short, so I shouldn't say anything. I'm definitely short. Come on, England, if you guys can do it. Ooh, what? I just want to read how many points I have so far. I will probably make a video. I think my next video after this live here I'm not gonna be able to make it tomorrow, but I'm gonna see. Maybe I'll make I'll be able to film a video for tomorrow. But just kind of, you know, letting you guys know how my first, you know, Euro fan Euro 2020 fantasy went. So far, Luke Shaw is giving me the points. Do I have Luke Shaw here? Wait. Yeah, he is. Oh, thank God. Thank God. He is. Ooh, okay, now we have uh, Italy. Insignia is 5'2", I think, but he's a great player. Yeah, he is. I'm not, like, it doesn't matter whether or not you're, sh like, tall or short or whatever. Like, if you still have, you know, the talent, you have the talent. It doesn't matter. Messi isn't tall, but he's amazing. Doesn't matter at all. I, you know, I was just stating, which is kind of, you know, something I was thinking of. But he's de definitely a great player. I agree with you, Mixos. Insignia is wonderful. He definitely is, for sure. But yeah, like I said, I will definitely do like a overall kind of showing how my Euro. 2020 fantasy, uh, you know, did the points that I got, which players that I picked for each game, and then also making a video about my, you know, very first fantasy Premier League, as I did play that for the very first time this past season. And I want to showcase how that went. I did do like a few videos early on. But then I just got maybe a little bit too lazy with updating every time. That's something that I want to be better at doing for next season, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. It was fun playing it. Regardless, I mean, some weeks were wonderful. Other weeks, I was horrible. Uh, didn't score as many points as I would hope, but that happens, I guess. That happens. I am learning, though. Does any of you play you know, have you guys been playing Euro Fantasy 2020 or maybe just, you know, Fantasy Premier League in general? So, how did it go? Did you, were you happy, content? I don't know. Let me know. Ooh, 
What is Italy's? Oh, Italy substituted the Barella. Okay, now we have Kristan Thick coming in. Sir Immobile is going out too. What is happening? Whoa, Berardi is coming in. Uh, he definitely looks pissed. Immobile. Yeah, probably knows that he didn't really perform that well. So he's like, oh. And also annoyed that he's coming off this early, maybe. I mean, we're just in the 54th minute, so yeah. Oh, Bonucci got a yellow card, I think, yeah. By this kick on uh, Raheem Sterling's ankle. Unnecessary. And a free kick for England. I feel like Italy looks a little stressed. They know that this is not so far going that well. I also really hope that England can get Jack Grealish in, can substitute Jack Grealish, because he's been amazing, especially when he has come in later on in two of the games. I mean, the Denmark game, very important. The Ukraine game, super uh, vital. Definitely was that major wild card that England needed, a player that can just completely change a game. For England's Ooh. Maguire header going past the goal. Great cross by Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, though. Wow. Luke, my man, Luke. Been amazing. Please just give him. Just imagine if Luke Shaw suddenly scores another goal. I would die happily though happily by far oh italy oh whoa, whoa. Ooh, oh my god insignia almost scored i mean we had a pass i mean saved by uh pickford though he definitely needed to be awake there so he was gotta give it to him italy is definitely getting into there i mean come on defend england be focused. You guys have like more than 30 minutes left. And that's me excluding the um, at a time as well. I think we'll probably be, you know, I'm not going to end this live right after the game ends. We're going to be probably here for the, you know, the team picking up the trophy, getting the medals and all that. That's something that I want to be reacting to live. So after all that, then we'll say goodnight, bye, and then, you know, move away from the Euros and focus on uh, the Premier League, the Champions League and all that. Signings and stuff for the upcoming weeks as we will be having a little break from football. We're starting with pre-seasons next week. Man United is playing next Sunday. I thankfully am able to watch that game as I don't work on Sundays. So I'm going to be happy about that. Yeah, that's going to be nice. See, although we don't really have a lot of our first players, but it's going to be nice seeing, you know. Oh, uh, that was. I can't think Italy still kept the ball, but not a good pass here. Mm mm. Yeah, it's going to be nice to see some other players, you know, get their chance as they didn't have a preseason last year or last season. I mean, obviously, because of, you know, COVID and stuff. That makes sense, of course. But, um, yeah. So I'm happy about that. I really am excited for the new season. I can't wait to watch all the games. I'm not completely sure if I'm going to be able to watch the first game, though, which is a bummer. I have to see. I hope so. I hope so. But, yeah. Come on, England. Come on. Ugh. Bye.
by the way, this live has been really fun. I mean, we haven't had much people watching, but I'm still gonna be doing live videos, live watch alongs in the future. I probably will do maybe more Uni Man United watch alongs for sure when I have the time for it. that, because I think it's fun. And especially when people are engaging, you know, uh, giving your opinions about stuff, having conversation, because in that way, it makes it a lot more easier for me to actually just keep going. And for this live not to seem super long, like it already is. I mean, we are past one and a half hours, but I've been loving every minute. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the Italian supporters are stressed or worried. England supporters, though, however, that's the polar opposite thing. Imagine if Italy's, I mean, I would be so bad for England if Italy suddenly gets an equalizer and then suddenly gets another goal. Oh, my God. Because that can happen, don't we? Let's just call a spade a spade. That can happen, you know? Let's not write Italy off. But I do feel like if England gets a goal, another goal now, I think they got it. Especially if they get a third goal. The third goal will be like, okay, it's solidified. It's done. It's done so. It's over. It's a wrap. We got to keep moving. Bring on some other players. Just now we can just have fun. But now it is still pretty open, to be honest. Also, even if it would be 2 0 to England, it would also, for me, in my opinion, be pretty open as well, because suddenly, like I said, Italy can get, you know, another goal. And then they can get the equalizer. That will maybe be able to get it to at a time. Maybe they'll score, they'll score a third goal and they'll win the game. Or it gets two penalty shootouts. Italy's pretty good with that. So, I'm just saying. But I hope that that will not be the case. I really do hope that England... Will win this. Will win this game. I, I really want it, but Italy is just oh oh my god yes oh my god oh my god oh Kiesa almost scored. That was a great save by Pickford. Oh y'all are like Pickford just looked distraught right now. He looked super annoyed. Y'all are not watching my man Kiesa. Watch him. Be focused. What is happening? I'm saying if they aren't focused, if they aren't thinking, they're going to screw Pickford over because he's pissed right now. They're just, it's been two big goal chances by um, Chiesa. Simply by the fact that nobody's really watching him. They're just letting him pass by. I don't, I don't get it. Do you know Mark Goldbridge? And if so, do you watch him? Yeah, of course, I definitely do. I love watching the United Stand, uh, for sure. And I also do love watching, you know, Mark Goldbridge presents That's So Football. Is that so football? That's football. Love both of those channels. I definitely do watch. I think I literally every day do watch almost all of the United videos. The United Stand videos, I, I mean. Especially since um, I think I started watching them when we were like last year before the season started. Especially when they were talking about signings and stuff, you know, before, right before deadline day. And I was watching, you know, the live deadline day uh, video. Oh, come on, England. Oh, almost. But yeah, I, I do watch. Uh, both of his channels. I think it's uh, interesting. Great content, and I, I definitely aspire to be doing some of the same content in the future. Uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Really cool. And also do watch, I mean, I don't know if you watch The United View, which is by Flex, who used to be, um, oh my God, okay. Who, who used to, um, you know, be a part of the United Stand family, and now we have, you know, KG, the comedian, that also used to be there, but he now um, 
is doing his bits over at Flex new channel, which I definitely do um, like his channel as well. Uh, lots of United content. And it seems maybe a little bit more lighter and definitely more my type of humor, to be honest. But I, I like all of their content regardless. So yeah, definitely. I like hearing different United perspectives. Some of it I agree with. Or a lot of it I agree with. Some I can disagree with, but everybody has different opinions, so we are all entitled to. So, yeah. Great question, though. Do you watch uh, Mark Overs, though? I would love to hear what you think. Mixos. I think I might actually do a live watch along for, should I though, for the preseason game? Should I do that? Is that something that people would be interested in? I think I kind of want to. I mean, I have the opportunity to do so next Sunday. I'm not doing anything next Sunday, so I could do it. And it will actually not be late at all, so not that this is late because it's not. I ain't got work tomorrow, so I'm good. Even if I was, I will still sacrifice sleep to watch football. That's how dedicated I am. That's a lot, guys. That's a lot. I think. Yeah, so Italy's trying their best. They're trying. Ooh. Oh, my God. Insignia got that header. I feel like Italy is trying right now. They are trying. The fact that he even got a cross in, but the thing is, no, it wasn't Insignia that had that was heading that. It was actually McGuire that got a clean head there. out. But now they have a corner for Italy. Please, oh my God! Oh, oh no 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 no! No! Oh, no! Oh my God! Bellucci scored! No! I. Oh my god, if England is screwing it up right now, that is going to be so annoying. I, did I, Bonucci? What did I, what did I just tell you guys? I just, what is happening with the defender scoring goals? Wait, are they, please take the goal away. No, they're not doing it. Jesus. I literally just said this to you guys. I said it now. Look. <laughs> yes! Thank God! Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can leave now. Uh, I don't want to leave where football is coming from. Football is coming from. It's coming wrong. Football is coming wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Okay, you're hurting your ears. Bye. So, my God, so sorry for that. I feel like Italy might get like. We are in the 67th minute now. England. Needs to respond. Get Jack Grealish in there. Get him in there. I knew that they were going to be scoring. I did. I not tell you. Did I not tell you? Now, if they score again, I think. Oh my God! Are we really? Are they really going to do this? No, no, man. No, ma'am. No. Oh my God! Kiev has been amazing, by the way. Jesus! Come on, get at him. Oh, <laughs> that kind of made me a little bit annoyed because Luke shall score another goal and become match winner. Come on, Luke. Come on. I told y'all, I told y'all that they are definitely like, there's no way that England is not going to concede. Yes. He was there completely and no, nobody was watching Bonucci. Nobody. Oh my lord.
I don't know what type of celebration that is. Bonucci, like, what, what is this? I don't know. Either way, I just find it super annoying. I knew it was going to happen. I mean, we're so close to the 70th minute. And we're going to have maybe at a time if this score will, you know, end like this. Oh, and then he said, oh, God, Donnarumma has never conceded more than one goal for Italy. Will that happen now? Though he is an exceptional goalkeeper. I wish that Man United had him, especially if David De Gea leaves, which I hope he doesn't. But that's for another video. I'm actually going to make a, ooh, Bukayo Saka is coming in. Good. But I would also have Grealish to come in. We need something offensive. Like, they need to get a second goal. They have to. I'm sorry. They They, they have to, like. Today, Donnarumma, you have to concede a few more goals. I'm sorry, my man. Oh, Trippier is going off? Really? Yeah, he is. Yeah. I mean, he got that assist, so thank you, Trippier, but uh, you got to go. Come on. Come on. If it is so po I feel like by, by Italy. Oh my <laughs> by the fact that Italy is equalizing right now or has equalized, I feel like it's being a oh, wait, that's a free is that not a free okay. I feel like they have gotten a new found confidence. Cause that sometimes happens. A lot of it a lot of this is about the mentality, you know, of players. And Getting the equalized goal ends up being, like I said, a newfound confidence for them to actually go ahead and just know that, okay, one more goal, we can actually win this. If they get one more goal, I mean, Italy, and they just defend, 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 they can win. That's being very cynical. That's parking the bus mentality, like Jose Mourinho knows about. No shade. Regardless. I just and yeah, my dad just said to uh, you know defend, <laughs> defenders scored and that's exactly what I did mention. We have two defenders scoring in a finale. Pretty nice. Oh, you know, Maxwell says Bonucci is a beast. I agree. He definitely is. He's helping his team win it because he was there in 2012 when Spain won 4-0 and trashed Italy. Oh, come on, come on, England, come on. Yes, well, come on. Come on. That would be so embarrassing if England literally loses <laughs> in the very first finale at home. But at the same time, like, they are so confident. I think I read somewhere yesterday that a guy got a tattoo of, and it says it was a trophy, the Euro Cup trophy, and then it says right underneath the trophy, it's coming home or it came something like that and i'm like bro you're jinxing it so much right now by getting a tattoo like that wait for after the finale now we have jordan henderson coming in but that's really good he's been a really brilliant substitute he did score the very first goal was it when ukraine yeah the, in the ukraine game oh my god oh my god oh my god oh, my god. oh, oh shit. jesus what a pass Oh, oh my god, Italy was about to score. Whoa, it got right ahead of the goal. Right over. Oh my gosh. Nobody was watching him. He got a got a good shot there. If Italy gets to great chances, then they're gonna they're gonna get it. Nicola Rice is going out. Substituting. Oh. Rice. I like the green rice. I wonder if he's going to stay at West Ham or if he's going to leave. I mean, I know Man United wants him, but it's going to be so expensive, especially if England ends up winning the Euros. He's going to be priced so high. I get it. But like sometimes I do feel like that, you know, the, the English players often are super overpriced. Like we saw with, you know, James Sancho last year, and luckily we got him for way less than the initial price. 
So that was kind of a good thing that we waited. Italy, oh my God! Ah! Oh God. Okay, don't have a heart attack. Oh, whoa. Okay, I really hope that my dad won't have a heart attack. Okay, you gotta calm down. Whoa. Oh my God. Calm down, man. Calm down. Lower your crush roll. Jeez. Oh my God, it, I don't, Italy has completely changed. What is happening to England? Oh my God, no! Let me, okay, great, Kyle, great. Come on, Saka. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Yeah. Oh, oopsie. Okay. Oh, sorry. What happened to you? I feel like I feel like England suddenly looks. It looks like England and Italy just switch with the whole confidence. Uh, I don't know. It's now this second half here. England looks like Italy in the first half. Because now Italy is definitely controlling now. Oh, sorry. Hello? Oh, sorry guys. My AirPods is, you know, gotta charge them again. Gotta do that. So now you're just hearing me on this built in microphone. So hopefully my dad is not gonna yell because everybody's gonna hear him now. So you gotta be quiet, man. Thank you. Okay. Come on. Okay, you gotta be, they're gonna hear you. No. Yeah, there's no problem. Also, Yeah. Football is coming wrong, Sophia. Football is coming wrong. Football is coming wrong. It's coming wrong. Football is coming wrong. Okay. We're in the 76 minute. England just not look. They look very distraught right now. They do oh, not. Is all right. The football is bye bye. Oh. I am moving now. Set full control. That's why I really wish that England would have tried to get a second goal. For in that, in that way, they would have had the advantage on their side. You yeah. know, what when it's been equalized, Italy just seems super confident right now. Yeah. Italy is controlling game. If Italy gets one more goal, I think it's over for England. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Come nothing. on, y'all gotta go. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Show some passion. Oh, You're oh, at home. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Free kick to um free kick to England. Like I am being honest. Sophia, well, I, 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 I can't watch. My heart is, is born. You, you gotta calm me. down. This guy is probably gonna have a heart attack. I mean, my dad. Jeez. But yeah, um, I just really hope that um, England can get this. Like, just imagine if they lose. The most of these supporters are English. If they lose, oh my God, the embarrassment. Oh, although, of course, in Italy is amazing. I wish they are. England is getting a free kick, by the way. My dad is singing. Oh, God. I think he called my uncle, his brother, which is in England right now, actually. So that's, that's kind of funny. But, yeah, I... Um, oh, God. This just, this just became much more exciting. But I do think, like I said, one of these teams, if one of these teams scores right now, I think the game is over. I, I definitely think it is. Ooh, great pass by Luke Shaw. 
Come on. I don't think I have to. Ooh. Oh, no, he loses the ball. It's like, oh, my God. If Italy scores now, we can just say it's over. Oh, my God. Wonderful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Kevin Phillips was super important there. Wow. But well, Chiesa seems to be hurt. Ranger down. Oh, he's crying. What happened? Oh, was that his ankle maybe? I don't know. Wait, let me look at that. It's maybe Kai Walker. Looks like he's in pain. And uh, Michelle says, without the Georgina are getting on my nerves. <laughs> mine too, man. Mine too. Trust me. Mine too. Oh my God. Like I said earlier on, I would not be like a completely opposed to seeing Italy win. Like I won't wouldn't have a problem with that. I mean, I am I, I wouldn't, but it would be annoying when like England is right there, like the right there. Really? Come on. <laughs> Kiesa diving? Yeah. Possibly. Might have been exaggerating. I mean, didn't they be able to do that in the... What game was that? Was that a Spain game? I think it might have been the Spain game where oh, that was so embarrassing. Oh, my God. That was like right before this score. I think it was the Insignia goal. And then he... He was... He, he died definitely for sure, and then he was overplaying it, and like he looked like he was super hurt. But then when he noticed that they actually scored, he ran up, ran towards the other guys, celebrating like nothing happened. How embarrassing is that? Wow! I would never. No, no. We're in the 88, 81st minute. Can we please? Get a goal by England. Imagine if that happens, though. Oh, my, my shoulders. Sorry. Imagine if that happens, though. Is Kiesa just trying to uh, waste time? You never know. But how cool would it be if England suddenly gets the second goal? If they do, it's, it's probably a wrap, I would say. Like the Denmark game. Like that, that would be like, it's done. But if that happens for Italy, however, I would also say that it's done. So England definitely, you know. Mixaw said Italy goal is embarrassing. I agree that I do not know what happened, but that was not a good performance. Because I feel like the defense, the English defense has been pretty good, over, pretty decent throughout this game, but I don't know what happened there. That was embarrassing. Woo, child. England just needs to get it, but... I mean, I think that he probably should try to get one more player in. Is that okay, I mean? Maybe, maybe they're hoping that they can try to make it for at a time and then change players then like they did with the Denmark game I think was it the Denmark game was it I think it was Ooh, okay Miss Mel come on oh no oh my god no come on come on come on you guys are so close come on get one more goal one more just one more goal and I think you guys got it. I really, my God, I wouldn't think that I was going to be this excited for England to win. But I mean, England has been a team that I have liked. I think I just really like Portugal and Netherlands maybe a lot more. But I do like England regardless. I do. Let me see if my AirPods have a charge. Yeah, they have. So we can switch the mic.
Testing, testing. Oh, I just realized I muted myself somehow. Somehow, so sorry. I'm back and uh, we're in the 89th minute. So very close to the 90 minutes, very soon. Will they be adding any minutes? Or will we be getting into the, you know, extra 30 minutes, which is a little bit tiring, but that's probably, oh, my brain goes, so sorry. That's probably what's gonna happen though. What it seems like. Let's see, okay. I'm gonna show it right now. Wait, they added six minutes? Oh my God, I mean six minutes. Some of these, uh, one of these sides can score. Sorry, and actually, you know, not let it be, um, what should I say? Um, added extra time or whatever, like that can happen, come on. Is England getting a free kick? I don't know. Yeah, they are, they are. Oh, the English supporters are scared. They are worried. I see it and I get it. I understand. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get it. Come on, England. Uh, oh, it's Italy's ball. Come on, get that goal. Y'all just need one more. I think Southgate is definitely saving his substitution. But that, that might be a little bit of a risk though, because suddenly Italy can score that second goal. And if England doesn't manage to do to actually equalize within the six minutes that I've added, so far we're getting into the second minute of those six minutes, then Italy might win. I don't know. I, I really personally don't know but okay currently a great attack by Italy oh okay nobody was there to really receive it oh Insignia is strong but he lost the ball Kai Walker seemed even stronger come on Bakayoko I don't feel like Bakayo Saka has been that good when he came in I don't think this maybe a bad substitution then we, are, we, we are in control right to be honest. it's going both sides Italy please. is controlling Maybe a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Come on, England. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Billy's still keeping the ball so far. Yes. Hmm, long pass to Emma Shaw? No, that was Insignia. My bad. Emma. My bad. Come on, no, Italy is just, I feel like they're just trying to like see if there's any opportunities. But so far, just they are just keeping the ball. They don't have a problem to going into, you know, extra 30 minutes. They ain't got problems with that. Italy so far has also substituted twice, I think, like England, but I could be wrong. Maybe they did it three times. No, I think they did it maybe three times. Could be wrong. Go, go, go! Uh, Ain't no wait! Come on! Come on, Elin! No! Can't you see for years old? Can't be seven years old? Come on! Oh, you must have to die a second, yeah? Shoot! Oh my god. Wow, why are you doing that? Just the, they want extra time. They are 
The supporters are like, boo, come on, do something. They don't. Imagine if they just scored. Oh my God! Hi, Walker, that was great. I was stooling, stooling. Great, Kevin Phillips. Guys, at this point, just you're all a few seconds away. Just try to defend as best as you can, I guess. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, seems a little injured. Kai Saka, okay, that was nice. Get, get it, get it. Yes, no, hey, what the hell was that? What? Oh my god, what was that? Kalini just literally dragged Bakayo Saka on his shirt. What the hell was that? He literally was like, nah, man. What? Nah, definitely deserved the yellow card, but that was like a little, that was a little aggressive. When I say a little, I mean very aggressive. Oh no, you're a grown man. You can be his father. Yeah. Sit down. I do respect Kalini though, don't get that wrong. I, I love the man. Well, 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 that was too much. Okay, England got a free kick. Imagine England suddenly like, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't know who was supposed to get that pass, but that was, that was unnecessary. Okay. <laughs> Then I can't watch a penalty. He's not he's not going to watch. Watch where? Yeah. Where? Mm. But I I think something wrong with my hair. Hair. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> yeah. Stool, stool, stool. Help in. Or Ödeproppen så tar du och lägger dem. Ödeproppen. Now we have a little bit of a break before uh, the extra 30 minutes. Oh my God, 1-1. One, one. Will it be 2-1 to one of the, I think so. I don't think we're gonna be moving into penalty shootouts. At least I hope not. I, I don't think that's gonna benefit England at all. We do not need penalty shootouts at all. We're getting 30 more minutes of football, so 15 times through. Will we be getting into penalty shootouts? I don't know. What do you guys think? Will that happen? Imagine if it will be such a comeback if England, you know, can get a second goal. But it's just annoying because I feel like England really had the overall first half. 
and they just screwed up. Why though, England? You had the momentum. Why didn't build up on that? It's so unnecessary. At least they have some fresh legs that they can put in here. But regardless, it's just, I think it's being very reckless and not really focused because that was so unnecessarily the equalized goal from Italy. So unnecessary by England. By any means, that was so unnecessary. And I think they might have screwed up now. They might have effed it up for themselves. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So far, the clock here in Norway, the time is 11 p.m. One hour until uh, midnight. So starting very soon, they're just trying to pick sides where they want to play at. We've been talking for over two hours, guys. Great live chat. We did have some technical issues with the audio. I apologize for that. But yeah. Come on, England. You guys can do it. I hope. I really do not want to do penalty shootouts because I just, I feel so bad, especially in the finale. That sucks. Imagine losing, like literally losing because you missed the penalty. That sucks. I, there will always be one that just, you know, will be the... What's the word called? In Norwegian, we call it Shin the book. Uh, you know, the person that kind of effed it up, the person that gets the blame, basically. Man, that sucks. <sighs> Clean your smile is adorable, no homo. You definitely don't, I mean, you can compliment somebody's smile without having to, you know, feel like you're gay or whatever. Not that it's a big deal. Yes, I, I, I compliment other women, I don't care. You know, that, so yeah, great compliment. He has a nice smile. I mean, come on. He has a great smile. He has like a genuine, nice smile. He does. Seems like a great guy. It's nothing wrong with compliments, you know? Even if it's the same gender, who cares? You know? Who cares? But yeah, um, the extra time started right now. Who will win? I really hope that we can just, you know, uh, just finish this. I don't want penalty shootouts. I, I, I feel so bad for the players to have to go through that, especially in the finale. And, but, and by the many times England has had to go through that, that sucks, you know? That, that definitely sucks. So I hope that won't happen, but you never know. I mean, I just think that the players need to do their bits. It is so many, I mean, oh, is it, who is it, is it Henderson? That's down. Um, it does suck, but I think they have to just do their jobs. But I get that, I mean, it's over 90 minutes. They're tired. It's, it's way over 90 minutes. They got, a, they got like extra time within the first half. That was four minutes and they got six minutes in the, the second half. So that means that they had like, what, 96 minutes. No, my math, my, no, 100 minutes plus the extra minutes that there will, plus the extra 30 minutes, because there will be, regardless of which team scores now or, or not, they will be getting, they will have to play 30 minutes either way. So that's, you know, a lot. Was Harry, Harry McGuire kicked in the face? Oh my God. My buddy. Buddy said, no, 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 no. I didn't. <laughs> no. Ain't nobody kicked you. Was he kicked? Hand in the face, I think. So this live is a little bit longer than we were intended to have, but it is what it is. It's so fine. It's uh, very... Uh, I don't know why I spoke like that, but it's it's okay. 
we're going to uh, pull through. I try to enjoy this, but oh my god, if England loses, though, damn. Come on, England. Come on, come on, Henderson. New sure is right there with you. Come on. Oh, uh, oh, you still got the ball. Come on. You guys can do it. Is there a substitution here or no? No. Oh yeah, Locatelli is coming in. He's been very. Oh, that was a horrible pass. Stan Phillips. God, now, now the Italians got the ball. What? Locatelli's coming in. He's been exceptional. He hasn't really played that much since the group stages, to be honest. But he's been good. And I think he's wanted by a lot of teams. I think Arsenal might want to get him. Are they going to? That's the big question. Oh. Oh, damn. Jorginho kind of went there with Sterling. He was like, F off. Oh. Damn. Both in Premier League. Chelsea City. I'm actually glad that Chelsea did win Champions League. Glad and glad. I mean, way more happier the fact that they won instead of um, City. Even though it kind of just makes it more clear that Man United still doesn't have a trophy. It's been four years. Next year, we'll make it five years. It was 2017. Oh my God, we have to win. We have to win something next season. It's unacceptable if we go home with nothing, you know? I'm going to be pissed. Come on. It's going a little bit slow now. I feel like each team is just trying their best to not make any mistakes, to be focused. That's if somebody Fs up. Oh my god, room! Okay, Starling, come on! No! That was great tackle by Kalini. Great save, Kalini. Wow. That was so important for Italy right there, because Raheem Sterling was in a great position to maybe try to give a great pass to uh, Akai Osaka. Saka, but uh, he didn't. Is Barati going out? Yeah, Barati is going out. Locatelli is coming in. Oh. Oh my god, I just realized uh, Ralti actually debuted back in 2012, right after Italy actually beat England in the Euro Cup back then. Oh my god, that was such. Oh, it's my feelings. Come on, man, that was so good. Oh, I imagine that would have gone in. Almost, almost. By Phillips. That was close. That was close. Come on, man. England is, uh, you know. They're not going to Shaco anymore. No, that was several days ago. It's Sunday. Nobody has work on Sunday. Some people. But they're probably not going to work tomorrow. They're going to be tired. So, some of them have to, uh, you know. The no, the prime minister. The prime minister. No, it wasn't the prime minister. It was the mayor that said uh, the bosses needs to be very considerate. Three. They need to be considerate. Like try to be flexible. Tomorrow. That they start. ask their bosses, please be flexible. Oh, Ooh, Grealish is coming in. Come on, Grealish. Come on. Coming out. Josh, he's coming in. Close the door. He's coming in. Oh God, oh my God, Italy. No. Oh, he got rooms. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Oh. 
it's a good thing for Grealish to come in because he is important, right? <laughs> There's a woman that has a Grealish shirt that says, Mrs. Grealish. That's hilarious. I don't know if he's dating anybody, but hmm. you can shoot your shot, lady. Go ahead, girl. You do you. My back hurts. Oh my God. I've been sitting here for too long. Ugh. Oh my God. You can take that picture. Okay, good. Good, good, good. What? The blue free kick. Really coming in for who's coming in for? I actually assume that he's coming in for Mason Mount. You did your thing. I do wonder if he's going. Is he going to go to City this season? I really wanted Man United to buy him, but. We got the money for that. I mean, we have to prioritize other places, though, more importantly. But I feel like if Pogba would leave, then if he goes, which I think he probably will, or I guess he should. I mean, I'm going to make a video about that, so don't you worry. But, okay, Luke Shaw got that. Come on. Oh. Ah. Damn. McGuire, come on, you got this. But yeah, um, I think there are rumors that Grealish might go to City. Do I want that to happen? Hell no. And that probably Harry Kane might also go, but I don't know. I think the I think City did give a some type of bit to uh uh Tottenham, but that then was it Levy? Levi? You know, the Tottenham owner declined the bid. He was like, nah, Harry Kane is staying. He's staying. So I don't know, but does Harry Kane wants to leave, though? That's the thing. I don't necessarily know if Tottenham is going to win any types of trophy this season, to be honest. Definitely not the league. Let's be honest. They started off the league very, they started off the season overall pretty good last season, though. Especially when it won like 6 2 against United. That was embarrassing. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Grealish. Woo! Oh, that was good. That was good, though. Almost. You tried. Oh, that was a bad touch by Saka. If he would have just gotten that. Oh. Come on, come on. I, I would hope that also Jaden Sancho can come in. It's, they have substituted, they use three, I think. They might have two more left. Then they might use that for a defender. I don't know. I don't know, actually. I do, do not know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Wait and see. But I hope that Enoch could have done, you know, Misake could have maybe had a different pro approach, like, for instance, Roberto Insigne, like he did with Italy in terms of having every player at least get some minutes. Because I don't know if every player in uh, that England squad, I mean, I can't say I don't know. I'm pretty sure that not every player in that England squad has been able to, um, what can I say? Get any form of minutes. There has to be some that hasn't got anything, you know? Obviously some of the other goalkeepers, I guess, but 
It's a little bit, you know. She does suck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Pickford. Oh my god, Pickford is telling them like, what are y'all doing? Jesus. Ah. Look. Oh, no. That was, he literally stayed with his back. Emerson! Oh, oh my gosh. God. Oh, oh my. Yeah, this goes both ways. Like, what the heck? What the, I swear something wrong with my hair. With my hat. Ja, och det var nog, det var en Chelsea meme som fick jätteint för att någon på kamp. Du, du kan inte se på. Sätt dig, sätt dig. Wallahi, jag måste passa på dig. Kan du gå, gå och sov? Du måste sova nu. Nej, sov. Är dör, är dör min lukit? Är dör min lukit? Sorry guys. Okej, okay, I think we're almost one minute away from the first extra time being over they might add a few more minutes into that too though but we'll see if they go into penalty no i i, I can't because I'm, I'm gonna feel so bad for the guys that ends up missing that sucks come on defend england now you guys have to go all in come on get it Oh, Kane is giving away a free kick. Come on, Kane. Harry Kane. One minute into the extra time. Oh God. Hey, a free kick for sure. Jack really she got some legs to it. Oh my God. Look at those cows. Wow. Yeah, he did not skip leg day. Let me tell you that much. Let me tell you that much. Come on, England. Just one more goal. You got this. You got this. Is it free kick by England? Oh, that was a handball. Okay. Yeah, that of course. Proper hands. Luke Shaw, I've seen this taking a lot of these uh, free kicks. Great. He is great at it, so why not? Imagine if they suddenly get one more goal. Like, come on, England, you got it. This is your biggest opportunity to win a trophy. Come on. I'm ready for you. Oh, uh, uh, forget it. A little break before the second extra time. Imagine, I'm telling you, y'all, if they get into the um, penalty shootout. Or is Harry Kane going to, mark my words, but I did say, I think an hour ago, I did mention that I think it's going to be 2-1. And England's going to score the final goal. But Italy can be able to do so as well. So I, at this point, I don't know. I'm just saying, I do not know. At this point, I don't, I need to know.
The quality seems okay. I want to try to, you know, make these live videos a lot better for you guys, a better experience. But uh, we need to work on the background a little bit better and the lighting. But it it it'll probably better eventually. Eventually, but yeah. Um, what will happen now? Will England or Italy score the next goal now and just finish up the game before? Having to go to um, penalty shootouts because I really don't want any team to have to, you know. Uh, oh, is Rafa coming in? Oh my God. He's coming in. Great. Imagine if Rashford suddenly scores. Oh my God. Because he has hardly played. He has played some, but just very little, even more so as a substitute, a few minutes here and there. But he has not been fit, obviously, and been injured, so I get it. But, oh my god, it is packed there in Wembley. There's no COVID. COVID where? We don't know her. Apparently not there. Just saying. Who is Rashford coming in for, though? Or is he starting to just get ready? I don't know if he's coming. Yeah, I think he's just warming up a little bit. He hasn't come in so far, so now we have 15 minutes left. <laughs> oh, Mixa said, I'm nervous. How about you? Mm, you know what, Mixa? I, I get your nerves. I, I don't know. I haven't really been like England. It's not necessarily a team that I've been super attached for. Overall, I really do, like I said, want them to win. But I don't feel like the nerves have really kicked in yet. But if they go into penalty shootouts, then I fear for England. I think the pressure is going to get to them by far. The pressure. It's going to screw them over. We have a free kick as well by Italy. That is a pretty nice distance. You never know. Denmark had a wonderful free kick against England last time in the semifinals. So you know what? I think that it was kind of this somewhat of the same distance. I, I could be wrong, but... Um, be interesting to see. If, I, I'm telling you, if Italy scores now, I think it might be over for England, though. That's the thing that's a little bit nerve wracking. Because I don't think England can come back from this. I don't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. It was kind of literally lost the ball, but he was quick to get it back in. Ooh. God, he was about to screw it up. Come on, England. Come on, England. I can do this. I think you can. I hope you can. I do. Oh, God. Kind of stressed. I think I'm a little bit nervous. Tiny bit. A long ball from Kyle Walker. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Almost. Come on, Saka. Yeah. Come on. Oh! No! Come on, get it, get it, Anderson. You get it? Come on! Don't lose the ball. The first half, what is he gonna have? Second. No, you just stuck. No. Yes. Come on, put it. Oh, come, come. got a ball. Oh Wait, my god, no, I think it's no, over no, now. No, Shit. Oh, oh my god. Oh, look, shot, thank god. Oh, it was offside. 
Let's offside it away. Oh, oh, that's Saint Noch. Look at the turn. Abba, a turn for me to look at it. Huh? Look at My dad wanted, it seems that my dad wanted to be penalty shootout, so I don't know. I don't know. I do not, though. I do not. Yeah, so mixed sauce, I do think my nerves have kicked in a little bit. I only got like 11 minutes left. Jesus, it, it goes, no, I don't want the game to end like this. In the finale, that sucks because there's always going to be some like person to blame, you know? And that person might get so much hate, especially like imagine for Man United having like, I remember a time where Marcus Rashford and Paul Pogba was um, missing their penalties that were given to us. And they got a lot of hate, a lot of racism. That's just, I, it sucks, you know? I, I, a lot of people get just getting so much hate in general. I, I don't think that's okay for anybody to experience, regardless, I mean, it, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I just really hope that we can just end it within here. Like, just, just make it pretty clear, please. Get it done. Don't let it finish off with having a, um, I'm not crying by the way, I just got something in my eye. Come on, come on, really. Come on, open up those rooms. Yeah, come on. Oh my God, come on. No, Sterling. Jesus. That was such. A good opportunity, Sterling. Come on. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> he was right there. Ooh. Really? Come on. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, they still have the ball. No, they must. Oh, the ball. Oh, my God. This is being kind of a little bit nerve wracking. No, I, I, just, I cannot do it in the penalty shootouts. I, I, I no, that's when I'm going to be super nervous. Because I, I don't think, I mean, you never know. The history might not repeat itself. Maybe they can be able to win a penalty shootout, but I, I doubt it. I don't think they will. I think the pressure will be too, especially, the pressure will be too high, especially when we have a goalkeeper like Donnarumma. For Italy being such a amazing, um, an amazing goalkeeper at his age, he's what like only twenty two years old, but he's been playing for so many years at a top level, at even a very young age. So I don't think uh, England will handle that the pressure. Maybe they will prove me wrong. I don't know. Hopefully. But I, I don't want it to be, I, I don't want it to get to that, you know? I would prefer not to. Oh. Oh, God, what happened to Grealish? Oh. Oh, Grealish seems super hurt. The, the referee is like, no, 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 get, get in medics. Oh, he's, oh, he's completely hurt. That seems to be like a collision between Kalini and, no, not Kalini. Who was it? Somebody's getting a yellow card. That was Jorginho. And, oh, oh, oh my God. He literally, oh my God. He stepped on, Jorginho literally stepped on 
Jack Willis, Jack Willis is really hurting. Oh my God. Oh my God. Grealish is pissed. He's like, look, hello. Oh. That should have been a red card, to be honest. He literally. Oh my God. He stepped on him with those shoes as well. Virginia got a yellow card. Is that a little cheap? I don't know. I don't know. The substitution again for Italy. That's definitely going to be some extra time added here as well, for sure. Don't you worry about that. Free kick for England. Philip is taking it. Uh, Donnarumma catched it, so whatever. Gino got back in. Ah, nice. Ten minutes in. My dad just asked me if the penalty should have start has started, and I said no. It's still five minutes off, or away, I should say. Um, so that'll be very interesting. My I've my nerves are going to not be in check at all at this point. It's like, come on, let's not end it like this. Come on, with the penalty shootout, no. No, that would suck. And, and that would suck for either team, especially England. That would be so horrible. But, like, I don't think that would be good for either team to be, you know, having to go through that. Especially when Italy did have penalty shootouts with Spain. I mean, here we are. We have Italy here in the final. Oh, my God. That's a good pass from Emerson. Ooh. Ah. Why the hell did they want a penalty? They said it was a handball. Let me see. No. That was not a handball. Forget about it, Italy. Nice try. Forget about it. Ooh. Sorry. I'm a little tired. We're going to still be here We're almost three hours in. To this live video, live Barcelona. Oh, Saka, okay. Oh, almost. Hmm. I feel like we're slowly getting into a penalty shootout, though. Emerson is going out, really? And then Florenzi is coming in. I think you like Emerson has been good. Probably making that decision. Oh, Jane Sancho and Rashford is coming in. Okay. Oh, imagine having both of this, both of them on our team. I mean, that partnership between Rashford and Sancho, I think that's going to be deadly. I'm excited. I haven't really seen that much of James Sancho when it comes to, you know, the Bundesliga and stuff because I don't really watch German football like that. I watch what I mostly follow is the Premier League, but I have been watching him, you know, when Dortmund was in the Champions League and such, and that was very nice to watch for sure. Um, yeah. And in England, right in England, so 
I'm happy to see them coming in. I wish that they had a few more minutes, but that's probably because they are. I think it has to be that. I don't know. It might has, have to be that we want to use them for the penalty shootout. I don't know. But you should have brought them in earlier, though. You really should have. Okay, the minutes are going. I mean, the seconds are going. Get him in here. Yeah, Italy just wants to uh, get into penalty shootouts, I guess. Or maybe. Okay, a corner. Ah. It's going to penalties. I just know it, says McSauce. Yeah, you know what? It seems like it. Now we have the last coming in. Henderson is coming out, really? That kind of sucks for him. Oh. Uh, is it? It might be because he probably don't think he should be taking penalties as he has missed before. Kyle Walker is going out too. Interesting. Very interesting. The fact that Henderson was substituted in and then he goes out says a lot. That was the same thing with Jack Grealish for the last, for the you know previous game between England and Denmark. Okay, so Italy got a corner. Imagine if Italy suddenly scores now. Oh, that was suck. Okay, no. Thank God. Oh, they're still keeping the ball in. Come on. My heart. Get it out, man. Get it the F out. Get it out. Some, oh, only two minutes. Oh, we're going into penalty shootouts. If England can... What I was trying to say last time is that I think England literally has a curse when it comes to penalty shootouts. I don't know what it is. <coughs> Sorry. Can we try to reverse that in a way? I don't know. Okay, it says three minutes. Now I only have two minutes left since the minute is, you know, used up it would be insane if England suddenly could score right now but I I doubt it I doubt it come on you got time come on don't use up your time Come on, England. Y'all can do it. Or maybe not. Oh, maybe yeah. Or maybe not. Maybe yeah. Maybe not. God. And now my nerves are okay. If we, I just, I just feel like what I've been saying, it just sucks having it to, you know, end in a penalty shootout because it's just, there's always going to be one. That's just to blame. What is the word that I'm looking for? What's the word that I'm looking for? One second. I'm trying to find the word here. I'm suddenly losing my uh, thoughts. Oh my God. If even lose this though, it's a wrap. Let me tell you that much. It, it is a wrap. I don't like penalty shootouts. Hardly do. Oh, we're going. No, no, no. Come on, England. Penalty shootouts. Oh.
Now, Southgate is trying to write down who's going to be taking, you know, the penalties. Rashford is definitely taking it. I mean, he has, he is good at taking penalties. So, you know, I don't necessarily know. Is Jordan Pickford good at saving penalties? I don't know. I know Donnarumma is pretty decent. Is he going to be the um, hero? Penalty shootout. Look, 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 turn, look, turn. Look, turn, turn because they're coming easy. Look, turn. My dad is finally coming in to watch the game. We really wanted to end like this. It sucks for both parties. It definitely does. We see the Royals here. Prince William. Duchess of Duchess of Sussex? No. First time ever we win. First time. You mean you think England is gonna win? My dad took a complete U turn. My dad thinks England is gonna win. I have a feeling that they he might turn it around, but I don't know. No, it was not. The, it's the pressure is mostly on England. Are you yeah, joking? No. He might screw it up. Don't, don't. I want brothers not to throw two balls. Abo. Abo. No, I didn't say it. Mm -hmm. You get my point. My. I can see something. Please, Harry King, Oh, um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> feel so bad for them. Oh, my God. It will suck. Because they know it's at home, in front of so many people at home, right? Millions of people watching them. It will suck. Donald Room is getting a pep talk. You can't get to. It's stolen, it's stolen, it's stolen. I'm literally having like anxiety right now. Oh, my dad wanted to see me and watch it. Okay. Okay, Italia. you got it. You stop. You, but it, it's sleek, so that, that okay. the clock has not told. You just said Ian is gonna win. Yeah, man. Uh, because I'm afraid. You know my heart. Is... Okay, please do not have a heart attack in this live, bro. Okay, and don't don't yell too much. The hurricane's gonna take it for no. They're gonna have a coin toss. I don't necessarily think it matters where England has it because England has the fans all over the stadium. So it doesn't necessarily matter, does it? They will not leg anymore. I threw them more. Two soccer will be Have you seen what happened in England, London? What is that? Italian farm. Um, the keys to get? Not only keys to get. What? In England? Yeah. No, the keys to get? No, they say. What did they say? No, was it English that said no to Italian? Are you sitting? Let me see what it's like. I can't see. Okay, Donnarumma is going to uh, stand there, I think. Yeah, I will not see. 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 I will not see.
Sen gelir ki Allah abu. Okay, they're about to get there. Oh my God, Italy is taking the penalty first. Oh, oh I gotta take a proper shower later. Oh my God. Oh, he's getting properly boots. I mean, what helps England is that if they have most of the stadium, you know, supporting them. I didn't want it to end like this. Oh. And I have to go to the bathroom as well, so that's fun. That is super fun. Yay, okay. Ooh, come on, come on, big bird. No, it's gorge. Are you really about to go out like this? England. Georgino already had it. Georgino left that was beautiful. This, I, I can already see the newspapers tomorrow. Harry Kane, Harry Kane, please. Harry. Go again? Come on, Harry! Harry! Yep, Harry! Woo! What are we doing? We've been having this life for over three hours. Oh my God. Come on, Big Bird. Why does it have to end like this? This is horrible. I'm thinking for England. Oh my God, the embarrassment that England is going to have at home. Oh my God, I feel so, I don't know, man. Oh my God, please miss. Yeah, Big Bird! Woo! Yes, Big Bird, okay, now they're even. Woo! Okay, next person, please score, come on! Great, Big Bird. Great. That was not a good penalty. Jeez, Pelotti. Jesus. McGuire, come on! McGuire! I... My heart. McGuire, you can do this. The problem is with Donna Wilma is he's so tall as well. He's a giant. I literally have anxiety for England right now. Come on, McGuire. Yeah. Woo! Look at that. Okay. That is my captain right there for United. My captain. Yes. My guard. My dad really thinks they're going to win this. I am. I'm, I'm, I hope. I really hope. If they, do you think they can break the curse? Oh, oh, my dad didn't want to watch. He sees Bonucci. This chair, the chair, the chair. Bonucci is taking the next penalty. I'm gonna yell, like I'm sorry. I'm gonna yell. My dad didn't want to see. He literally is. He has chest pains right now. Oh, oh Bonucci scored. Okay. Please, England score the next, the next. I have so much anxiety right now for England. I just, I can already see the newspapers in the morning, like the news article, all of that. It's gonna be horrible for England. For history to be repeating itself. Rashford, come on. That would really suck for England, you know? Having it to end like this. And they have such a good opportunity to really, you know, Make sure that they get a Euro Cup trophy. Come on, Rashford. 
you haven't been able to play much this tournament, you can do this. Shit, Rashford. Oh shit, that was horrible. The worst part is Donnarumma went the wrong way. You it was your oh my god, Rashford! He went the wrong way! I oh, know he needed it. Oh, I feel so bad for him. That sucks. That su that sucks. No. Now they're even. They're even. Jeez. One miss, is, miss each. I'm telling you guys, I think the pressure might get to them. The worst part is, Donnarumma wasn't even on the ball at all. He went the wrong side. Come on, please, miss. Oh, oh fuck. Now, now, now Italy are... I'm sorry for swearing, by the way. I apologize. But now... Oh, Rashford knows he screwed that up. I feel so bad for Rashford. What happened? Goalkeeper went the wrong way. Pickford. This sucks. I really feel so bad for Rashford. If this ends like this, he'll be, you know, I don't like saying the one to blame, but just Sancho, come on. It just sucks because, uh, it was like, why would you hit the crossbar? Like, come on, Rashford. Oh, please, please, if they don't score now, I think it might be over. History is repeating itself. Shit, the two substitutes miss. Shit. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Testing. Okay, you guys can hear me. I don't know. Wait. Is Sochino really? <laughs> God, I knew this was gonna happen. I told you if they go to the penalty shootouts, they're not gonna win. I knew this was gonna happen for England. I knew this. Well, it sucks. It sucks that it has to end he's, like this. They so, they're never gonna get an opportunity like this again. Yeah. He's England, you had your opportunity. This sucks. If he scores, I think it's over. Allah, he delayed. You know the way he delayed. God, my heart breaks for England. This sucks. Oh no, he's scoring. He's gonna be the match winner now. Whoa! Pickford! Pickford! Whoa! He's, he missed! Oh my god, he literally, Jorginho never misses. If England can turn this around, my lord, have mercy. My heart, like, I have the biggest anxiety right now. Oh my god. I thought it went in. I thought it was over. Bukai Saka, come on, you can do this! England has to score. The youngster is going to do it. He's 19 years old. No! He missed! Italy, Italy won! How can Mecca do it? Who is here? Ah, yes, that's it! Italy won. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for him. That is. Oh, he's crying. He's crying. Oh my gosh, I just feel so bad for all three of them because they're going to hear it tomorrow. They're going to hear it on Twitter. Jesus. Oh, he's crying. Oh my God. No, I almost want to cry for him. He's crying. Jesus, this feels so horrible. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Oh, my heart breaks for England because they're, they're not they're not going to get an opportunity like this again. Can we rewind? Can we just... Okay. Well, no, geez, that was kind of mean. He said to the camera, he's coming to Rome. Jeez, it sucks that he has to end like this. They had it. He was about to come home. I knew this was going to happen.
Oh, they're all comforting. Uh, Bukayo Saka. I, uh, Southgate definitely knows how it is. He knows. Oh, Masili's crying. I mean, I, I am happy for Italy. Like, he turned it around. Jorginho missed, but there's so much. Donnarumma did his thing. 22, Euro Cup finalist. Well, I mean, winner. I'm just, like, shaky. It just sucks for England. We're going to hear it tomorrow. No, I'm not going to say we. They are going to hear it tomorrow. It just sucks for the fans because... I'm telling you, England, the penalties sucks. Bonucci lost the final back in 20. Uh, Sancho is also really emotional. Garrett Sackett is consoling him. The thing is, if there's anybody that knows how horrible this is, how it is to miss a penalty, it is Southgate because he's been through it himself. I just feel bad. Like I know I'm not, I'm not trying to make this a race thing. I'm just saying it just sucks because I know these guys might hear it on Twitter tomorrow. They, I hope they're not going to get any hate, but it just sucks. And having like the 19 year old be like, you know, the youngster being the ones to blame. I don't get why Southgate would have picked Bakayo Saka to take the last and fifth penalty for England because, like, he kind of puts him not at risk, but just it's almost like a setup. If that if that makes it insane sense, I feel like it would have been nice maybe having Raheem Sterling with the routine that he has, having other players. You can actually take the penalty, maybe not Bakayo Saka. Because that sucks having to miss that final penalty that you really needed to win. I feel so bad for England. They at home as well. They were almost there. Yeah, guys, we're just gonna see the you know trophies and stuff. The celebration, I guess, but I I England is not going to get an opportunity like this again at all. I, I don't really get why he's picking. I do think having like Rashford and Sancho that hardly has played throughout this game and having them take the penalty. It's maybe very unnecessary. The confidence wasn't really there, you know? It's sad, like if having a 19 year old that has only played just a few games. This is his first tournament. And this is what he's gonna remember, that he missed the final penalty that resulted in them losing the biggest opportunity for them to actually win the Euro Cup. That sucks. That is horrible. Southgate, there's a lot of stuff I respect you for, but this last thing here, constant penalty shootouts, I, I don't respect it. I don't think that's okay. Donnarumma is huge, by the way. He is a big guy. Oh my God. Oh, I feel so bad. They were so close. Oh, he's crying. Yeah, I don't get I just realized Stern didn't take any penalties. Grealish is known to take penalties. Why not use them instead? I don't get it. Have Grealish take the last penalty, for instance. 
maybe they didn't, I don't know. They should be proud of themselves anyway. They managed to get this far to the very first finale. I don't know when they're gonna get this opportunity again. And it's pe there's a curse when it comes to penalty shootouts with England. There's a huge, big curse. And I feel so bad. I really didn't want it to end like this. Oh my God, how bad I feel. It is not coming home. This really sucks. They should be proud. I, I just think it's going to take some time for them to really realize. Oof. I, I do feel like England was holding back a lot, especially in the second half. They had the opportunity, they had the early goal. Why not just go all in? They didn't. That's the thing that's de devastating. Why? Why? I mean, Italy, Italy deserved it. They did. <sighs> I'm annoyed because seriously, they're not getting a chance like this again. Like at home, imagine at home. When will they get a chance like this again? Not in time soon. Probably when a lot of these players are super old, like more so closer to. I don't know if they're going to be getting. England are going to be hosting again anytime soon. I don't. Will they? Who will have the next? I think that's Germany. And after that, though, who. Um, let me see. Europe Cup host countries. We have. We have Germany in 2024. But I'm just wondering who will like who will host in 2028. I don't know who it's going to be, but the uh, Headbed said we did well in the first half. I agree with you, Headbed. I completely agree with you. That you you did. It's just very disappointing to not keep that same momentum throughout, especially just I I that's what I said early on. Go all in. Don't have it make or get to penalty shootouts. That's not what you guys are good at. You guys it's it's too much pressure. And I feel so bad for the, especially the players that didn't miss, like Rashford. Like Rashford goal, Donnarumma didn't say that. Rashford hit the crossbar. You know, um, it's horrible. And then Sancho missed, and then having a 19 year old take the fifth and final um, penalty. I don't really understand the whole purpose of that. I think it would have been so much better having Grealish take that, for instance, or Raheem Sterling. Both of those two players have this, you know, the experience, 
to score penalties, important penalties in games. So I, I don't really get why would you take, why, why would you do that? Is it not possible to actually switch the person to take the, I don't know. Maybe they assumed that they were, I don't know what they assumed. I really don't know. I don't know. Just, they screwed up. Hiro, Hirohito says they both really deserved it. They did. Yeah, they did. Uh, Mixel says Harry Kane is leaving for sure now. Oh, you're thinking Tottenham? I mean, now that he's not, because he did say, I think it was an interview not that long ago. Prior to the finale, he did say that um, this was his biggest game ever of his entire career. So not having been able to win that when you're this close, I get it. I think he wants some trophies. He has, has he ever won a trophy ever? I don't think he has. Not with this Tottenham team. So I, I really, I'm looking at the players now on the TV. Like they look so distraught. They look miserable. This was not something that I assumed was going to happen. Like, look, I'm, I'm looking at Phil Bowden. He was, you know, daring everybody to do his hairstyle once they won. They're not winning. They didn't win. That sucks. So bad for England. And I feel horrible. I did say that I did, you know, predict this to happen. Um, Bissau says he wants guaranteed success and Man City will give him that. Of course. I mean, if he chooses to go to Man City, he knows he's going to win not one, but several trophies. He's, he knows. He knows that he's going to be able to win the league if he wants something completely guaranteed you go to city you do because you you know that that's to me it's not necessarily going to be a challenge at all because you know city at this point for the past you know nine years now i mean next year going on 10 years they have been winning you know trophies back to back the league several times now Sucks. I get it. I am not surprised at all by any means, to be honest. Let me just give me one second. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, okay. There you go. Um, next chat here. To those of you who just, by the way, uh, joined, remember to subscribe if you're new here and give this video a big thumbs up. Now I'm seeing added from Portugal be, you know, the match winner when Portugal won against France, which was the host nation. Uh, he's saying, like, goodbye to the trophy. Wow. Okay, Hito, Hito says, I think in the end, it just was luck. The game was one of 20 minutes. They were both exhausted. Yeah, it was. I, I personally aren't, I agree with you. I'm not, like, blaming any players. I just, I'm just saying... I think a lot of it lays with, you know, um, Southgate choosing the way he chose to go at it with the penalty shootouts. It does suck. Wait, Donnarumma got the player of the tournament? Really? I mean, okay. I would have actually given it to Luke Shaw, but I mean, he, he did deserve it. He's amazing. That's an amazing player. But I'm just wondering, isn't England getting medal like last, you know, a couple of years ago? The second placeholders would always get, you know, a a medal, a silver medal. So will it be, or maybe it maybe will happen. I think they are waiting for the players and they're probably gonna be clapping for them. Now the uh referees are gonna get their um, medals and such. His Bjorn Kuyper's team, I think it's Dutch, isn't it? Can't be wrong. Yeah, so they're just giving out medals and stuff. 
Nine referees? Oh my god. You just see Italy just oh my god, it's just like night and day. You see Italy celebrating, they're like, yeah, woo! It's been a solo with his crutches. I think it's been a solo. And then you have England just standing there and just looking at them, being like, ugh. Now England are getting their medals. It has to be so embarrassing, right? Yeah, they are just like, nah. They're not here for that. It sucks. I have noticed a lot of players, you know, when they get a silver medal, they just, after the podium, just to take it off. I get it. It sucks. Uh, okay, Hero. Hito says, yeah, they were both great teams in this tournament. It always was a pleasure to watch their matches. I agree. Very good. Um, I, I do like the positivity because I completely agree with you. McSaw says, oh, wow, Donnarumma is player of the tournament. Didn't expect that. I, that's what I said, too. I was kind of shocked, but it, it was well-deserved. I do get it. I just feel so sad for Bukayo Saka. He just seems... Oh my God, he's gonna remember that. That's a, oh, Grealish was like, I'm taking it off. I don't give a damn. I get it. They're not here for that. Kyle Walker is also taking it off. It sucks. Like the rise is just not here for it. Really, Sancho too. It. it God. <laughs> Mixos says, "Been a solo dancing." Yeah, with the crutches. He was into it. Just sucks because I didn't I didn't realize it was gonna end like this. You know? They are not here for it, the English players. They're like, nah, thank you, but no. I swear to God, I saw a complete different scenario prior to this. I did not see this. Oh god, I feel so bad for them. It sucks. It does. Both teams would have deserved it either way. I mean, I do feel like Italy did deserve it, but of course England would have deserved it either way. Spinazzola is coming. <laughs> He's like, oh God, that's funny. With his crutches. Oh, Mixel said this was a great show, by the way. Thank you. And thank you for keeping me company i i really appreciate it it was really fun i mean we've been doing it for three and a half hours right now i'm tired but it's been super fun and i'm excited uh to do more of these uh live videos for you guys i mean there weren't many people watching but it was still very entertaining at least for me to just you know try to make this so entertaining as possible for you guys and uh it wasn't it, overall, this was a great finale. It just sucks that it had to end like this with penalty shootouts. I, I don't like finales ending like this. That, that's just, you know, yeah. Hito, Hito said, well, it would be good if England finally took it home. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I really would have, you know, initially. I really did want that to happen, but it didn't. It suck. I, I just feel like I'm like no, I'm 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 like sleeping. Like this is just a dream. Can we just rewind? I'm waking up. We're gonna try this again. No, that's not the case. Do you want this? Fair, deserved. Ah, oh, thank you, McSauce. I had fun watching. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm happy to do more lives for you guys. Trust me. Oh, kill it. Okay, I, I'm getting a little bit emotional. I see Kalini get super emotional. He's crying. Oh, he's taking the trophy. Gotta give it to them. Hito, Hito said the Italians are going crazy outside at the moment. I, I bet. And McSaw says they took their medals off so quickly. I know, they really did. Now the Italians lifting up the trophy. UEFA Euro 2020. Oh my God. I'm literally, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing the stadium. All of like the English supporters just went away. They were like, nah, we're not being here. Hell no. Nah. 
of course the Italians are there. They, they, at least they have fans there. Imagine when Liverpool didn't have any fans when they won the Champions League. Shade, but no shade, but shade. Interesting. Let me congrats to Italy. I, I did say that I wouldn't be bummed out. I am happy for Italy. They also did experience the same thing back in 2012. No, yeah, no, yeah. But they, that was a lot more embarrassing though because they lost 4-0 and that was like, you know, this is not necessarily as embarrassing, but it's still, oh God, I feel so many, I can see myself or I can see a lot of English supporters probably calling it sick tomorrow and be like, sorry, I'm depressed. I can come, I'm, like, I'm, I'm sick. I'm literally mentally like distraught right now. I'm so tired. I ain't coming to work tomorrow. Because it's just real, it's raw emotions. I'm just saying. Italy in 2012 lost to Spain. Yes, exactly. Thank you, McSauce. That's, I agree. I mean, I'm happy that they are able, oh my God, I'm literally seeing like a shop of the stadium with lots of fireworks. I feel so bad for the supporters that have to watch that and knowing that it's not for England, it's for Italy. Oh my God, it sucks. Hero Hito says, even though I was for Italy, it would be good if the English won. They finally nearly took it home. They deserved it by now. I, I know. And I'm also thinking, by the way, thank you for also joining the live chat, Hero Hito. I appreciate it. I'm just thinking, how is England going to get an opportunity like this again? They had the advantage of having um, so many of their games at home and not having to travel far like other um, countries or teams had to do. So I'm just thinking, are they going to get an opportunity like this again? I don't know. I don't see it. I mean, the next opportunity they have is for the World Cup, but I'm just saying that won't be at home. That will be in Qatar, you know, in the Middle East, right? In Asia, so that, that ain't happening. They saw says, Casillas, the goalkeeper, wanted the game stop early since they didn't want to humiliate Italy anymore. True story. Really? Ilke Casillas? I think that was, yeah. Because that was horrible. I felt so bad. And Bonucci actually did play that game. So this for him was super important. This Did Kalini win? I mean, did Kalini play in that game? I don't. I can't remember. I, I know Bonucci did play. Let's see. Uh, some pictures of him, you know, like before winning and then, no, I mean losing and then now actually being able to win. That, that, wow. Oh my God, this article we're going to be reading tomorrow is going to be horrible for England. I, oh my God. Just gonna turn off my TV here because it ended. Okay. And the German team is really bad since 2014. Yeah, you know what? I personally haven't really been too fond of Germany ever. So I was kind of happy when Germany, you know, sorry, uh, kind of lost. Oh my God, how humiliated it was that they went out in the group stages back in uh, 2018 it was in the World Cup at, uh, in Russia. I mean, that was something else. That was something else. It really was. So um, yeah, I agree with you, Hiro. Hito, they haven't really been they haven't really been good since. Yeah, they've been horrible after that, which is a bummer, but not a bummer for me because I don't really, I, it's not really been my team for whatever, whatever reason. We're soon going to end this stream here because we've been doing this for over two and a half hours. I'm hungry. Got to take a shower and I want to lay down. Just saying, but this has been really fun though. This has been extremely fun. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, Hirohito said, I don't support the German team anymore. They play horrible, and I'm German, by the way. Oh, <laughs> how ironic is that? Okay, you're German. Ah, yeah. Wow. I mean, I mean, I live in Norway, born and raised. I've been rooting for the Norwegian team, but the Norwegian team hasn't qualified for any tournament since I was three years old. And guys, I'm 26. It's a long time ago. Okay, I think it was back in 1998 when they qualified for the World Cup. Am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. And they won against Brazil back then. Like, Norway was, it was good. They had some fire players back then. But, I mean, we have some good, decent players. Oh, so we have one of the best players right now, Erling Braut Holland, Norwegian, pretty dope, having a star player like that. But just, I don't know. We didn't qualify for the Euro Cup. We were so close, but they screwed up. We sucked, pretty much. The World Cup is our next opportunity, and I hope so, because I would like to have something, you know, a little bit close, as my, you know, my ethnicity is Somali, and then my, you know, Somali doesn't qualify for much either. So I don't really have any team especially national team that I can feel like, whoa, like really connected to. Does that make sense? Except for just teams that I like, like Portugal, the Netherlands, which hasn't really been good since 2014 either. The same as Ger Germany. Um, I also did somewhat in ways also like France, especially in the World Cup 2018 when they won. Really happy about that. And uh, what else? England has also been a team I like. Belgium, I don't have a problem with. I do like. Yeah. And I definitely do want, you know, especially African nations as I am, you know, African at heart. Would love to see more African nations finally be able to win a World Cup in the future. That would be great. I mean, the closest they got was with Ghana back in 2010 when South Africa hosted. And that they went out by penalty shootouts. Yeah. And they were this close to qualify because I remember um, Luis Suarez getting a red card because of a handball. Like they would have scored. And then Gia, I think it was Asamoah Gian, got a penalty. He missed. And then they went into penalty shootouts. Um, Uruguay went through, and the rest is history, which, which definitely sucked. Okay. Um, McSaw said. I like Hansi Flick. I think he's one of the best managers in the world. Yeah, I, I've heard a lot. I mean, I think that would be nice. I mean, Joachim Love, he did his thing. He got the World Cup, but he hasn't really been the best since. I remember actually Germany uh, came to Norway back in 2016. And I got to take a picture with Joachim Love. I got it somewhere in my phone and, and also Mats Hummels, which I was super happy about. Yeah. The other plays were kind of like, nah. Well, Stoffy shaded. He was like, no, sorry. I was like, okay, I've been mad at him ever since. I hold grudges. I do. Germ okay, Hirohito said Germany versus Brazil. Holy, I remember that match like it was yesterday. Right? How old was that? I was 19 back then. Oh, my God. 7-1, wasn't it? At home, even? That has to be. I mean, imagine if England would have lost like that. But... Problem is, is that when it's penalty shootouts, it's more like individ individual performances when it comes to penalties that will be remembered, which sucks because people are going to end up blaming, you know, the players that did lose. And it's just, oh, they already have it horrible now. Do you need to experience much more hate when they already know, like, oh, they, they messed up? Do you, do you know what I mean? It just sucks. It really does. It does. Uh, Mick Sauce said, I remember when South Korea beat Germany too. I, I was so sure that South Korea was going to win because I just, I, I saw it. I saw it. I felt like Germany was too arrogant. And I was like, mm. and I remember, I think it was you. Yeah, it was Manuel Neuer, you know, the, goal, the German goalkeeper. It was horrible. I think it, what was it? I think it was a pass. One of the defenders or something gave 
him a pass. He, he, you know, he has those famous runs where he goes way off his box. He then shoots the ball away. That's kind of the stuff that he's known for, you know, being a very offensive type of goalkeeper, right? That time he screwed up completely. He missed one of the South Korean. I'm trying to think. Did so play that game? I don't know if it was. It was one of the Korean, South Korean players that got the ball, bam, finish up, gave the match winning goal. I loved it. Uh, Hirohito says Russia versus Croatia was a great match too. I don't know if you remember it. Oh, wait. Was that in 20... When was that? Was that in 2014 or was that in 2018? What's that now? Because I'm like, there's so many things that has happened. Oh, there's so many things that I have that has happened over the years that I'm like, I remember a lot. But right now, because of you know the whole England thing right now, them not winning, my mind is just not there. But Hirohito, please remind me. Mixon says Noir is a sweeper keeper. For sure. For sure. Um Mixon says quarterfinals, I think that was. Might have been. Okay. Hirohito says 2018. Did I? I did, oh my god, I think I did do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I remember that World Cup being one of the best cups I've seen ever. And this Euro Cup has also been super amazing, especially of how unpredictable it has been. You know, seeing Denmark reach the semifinals. Um, you know, seeing was it Switzerland knocking France out of the tournament? Stuff like that has been really nice. Also, Austria was pretty close to getting by, uh, what should I say, Italy. I mean, imagine, Italy might have not be making it to the final. It was not an easy ride, to be honest. Okay, guys, I think we're going to just wrap it up. But this, I'm telling you, thank you guys for the... Thank you so much for those of you who are who has been participating in the live chat, who has been watching the videos in general. I mean, the videos, the live watch along. I do appreciate it. Uh, France versus Croatia was a was a funny AF. Yeah, yeah, that was okay. Before I leave, I gotta tell a funny story about that because um, I was in Thailand back in 2018. Uh, it was the day before I was traveling back. I, I was there with one of my best friends. And we were just going to watch that finale. Um, downtown, it was like they had a screen up literally right outside the mall, or I think inside the mall. They had a screen, they had chairs. We we're going to watch it. I had uh, the France jersey with me. I had Pogba on my back. I was ready. And then me and my friend got food poisoning. We had to go, like she threw up in the taxi back, taxi ride back home. I threw up when I came to the hotel, we're at the hotel, and we were literally just watching the game in bed. I had my phone, so I was watching it on my phone because the TV channel didn't have the um, channel to watch the actual, you know, finale. So that sucked, but I was... I completely forgot I had food poisoning, so I was like screaming, being so pumped, so hyped for the fact that France won. And also by them knowing that they won literally 20 years after they wanted to, I don't know if it, if it was the first time, but the last time, and having the champs win it as both a player 20 years prior, and then 20 years later win it as a coach. I think that was pretty cool. Okay, that was the last thing I wanted to say. I gotta go, but seriously, you guys, thank you so much for joining this live. Uh, we're gonna do more. This is just the beginning. You were just know you were here at the beginning. One day, hopefully, we'll have way more people watching. And I'm gonna remember those of you who stuck around and were there when we're only having like you know so such a few people watching. But I I don't care about that. I just appreciate having the people that are watching, engaging in the live chat. Uh, liking the video, watching, just thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I, I really do. Mixos said, I'm off to sleep now. Have a good night. Thank you, Mixos. You too. Thank you so much for, once again, I know I've 
I keep repeating myself, but thank you for uh, joining me throughout this uh, finale. It was super fun. I This is something I'm going to be, re be remembering. Thank you. Have a good night and talk to you soon. And then Hirohito said, all right, see ya. See ya too. Okay, got to end the stream. Remember, those of you who are watching the replay, I don't know if you will, but regardless, we're almost at four hours now, close to. Subscribe if you're new here. Like this video, share with all your friends and family, the channel, I mean, and uh, I'll see you guys. Hirohita says, good night. Good night to you. Okay, peace and love.